<clears throat> Hello, everybody. I'm just sending the links out. Audio looks like it's working. Is a do we have videos? Hey, we have everything. Right. It's been a couple of weeks. I don't even remember what we were doing last time. Um, as always, we have way more stuff than than I would personally like to have, but. <clears throat> so here we are this will be why I've got like fucking random bear pelts and shit and they're just like I think that's part of a thieves guild thing I was doing oh shit I've been carrying this thing around for a while too and these random salt tomatoes anyway uh, yes stuff yeah I have been stupidly busy this entire month, so I've not really had a time to do any streaming. This is the first Saturday I've had free in a long time, so I thought, why not stream? And I'll tell you for why, because I don't remember shit about what I was doing. Uh, I think, like, got some business in Rory today, you should... we are doing survival mode, so we are... Hunger and tiredness becomes a factor, as it does in everyday life, as we all suffer from it. It's the curse of being human. Uh, it's also the curse of being Big Hungry Joe, the character we're playing as in Skyrim. The hungriest man. Because <clears throat> I know, like, after... Wait, I had a horse. I believe I had a horse. Thank you very much. Let's get out of here. Yeah, been a couple of couple of weeks. Hope everyone's doing okay. Uh, not a great deal has happened. It's different in my life. I have uh, it's a new short story on the website uh, mattholandauthor.com, which is where all my short stories live. Because I missed uh, I missed the July. No, technically the thing I posted. The last thing I posted counts as July's thing, um, but I missed the entire month of June. Um, the month just kind of slipped away from me. I was going to do like a, I'm going to do a blog post about where I was in June anyway. Um, I've basically been a professional writer for three months. Um, well, I always kind of am a professional writer, but getting paid for it, which is the key. The key difference, I think, um, is the getting paid part. And I was getting paid for stuff. That I was writing for the past three months or so. Uh, that contract I was on has ended now, so I had time to. Oh shit! <laughs> Hello. You're not even worth getting off my horse for, pal. Whack! <laughs> Just croquet mounted that fucking tiger off the cliff. <laughs> Amazing. Good old Skyrim. Not only have I not streamed, I've not even played because like. I occasionally would play like off stream, um, just to do like bits of admin and like boring shit, that um, and like level up and stuff. I have not been doing that, so I've also like the controls are kind of a little bit. Hey, would it have been a MattHollandAuthor.com Sky uh, Skyrim stream if we weren't? Um, I had a bow, yes. Oh sweet, okay. Thank you for making my job slightly easier. It's probably going to kick the shit out of me, though. Uh, what have I got? <clears throat> At least they're landing for me. I, I kind of... I say this every time, but I kind of dislike the dragon fights, mainly because... They just hover above you for hours and hours and hours, um, and I don't have good archery abilities with this character anyway, but even if you do, it's the archery is so difficult to do in this game that it's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, I mean, it's just, yeah, survival mode, it's uh, carry weight kind of shit anyway, you'll notice... 270 pounds and that was that's hard one like that's um that's less than you start with 
at level one in the regular game. <laughs> Ugh. Where are we even going? Like, is this even worth... Oh shit, we are actually going to High Hrothgar, so going this way is not a good idea. We should make our way to... I think White Run. Let's put a little thing here. Let's put a thing this way. There we go, that's a bit better. Yeah, if we just followed the... Gotta remember to quick save, that's important. <clears throat> we also leveled up there too, uh, so I should probably do something about that when I get to a bed. It's another thing in survival mode, uh, if you've never seen me play this yet, uh, you have to... you can't level up from the main menu anymore, you've gotta be in a bed to do it, so you've gotta find a place so you can't like tactically level up like you used to be able to in the regular game. And it's also why we're just on horseback because you can't fast travel. <laughs> so I know I said when I previously streamed Skyrim on uh, YouTube that that playthrough I wasn't going to fast travel uh, at all and I still did because <laughs> nothing stopped me. After a certain point it just gets tedious going back and forth across, across the map if you've got other options. <coughs> the um, survival mode kind of forces you not to. Which is surprising how fun that actually is. Like, it does force you to... Um, it forces you to engage with the world a lot more. I think I've said a few times, like, the survival mode has really impressed me. Um, it's kind of, you know what, it's kind of made me want to do a uh, Fallout 4 survival mode playthrough at some point. Not on stream, maybe, but... Cause I, always, I always avoided the survival mode, because I thought it may be a bit too much for me, Fallout 4, but... If it's anything like the Skyrim one, it's not that much more difficult than the... And the main game is just with extra things you've got to keep track of. And I think it makes a bit more sense in Fallout 4 because, yeah, you you need to you know you need to survival is kind of it's part of the story of the game, even if it's not necessarily part of like the mechanics of it. So it just makes sense to to have that. Anyway, let's head back because. For some reason, I had rested at the inn. I definitely think I almost certainly rested at the inn um, at the end of the last stream. But immediately I was tired when I started this one. So I don't know. Sometimes it does that. It's like you rest and then you immediately just get struck with uh, tiredness again. A bit like real life. So it makes sense, because this is a bit of a, a heavy, like a long ride. And we also have to do the 10,000 steps again. Or the 4,000 steps. Whichever amount of steps we have to do. we got to do that again. And say that... I don't know level up's available. Let me just blow my nose real quick. Oh! You know, I'm gonna look at something here. My mic. I apologize for any weird noises this makes. Do I have a button on here? Because I know I heard like there's such a thing as a cough setting on like a where you press a button and it like mutes the microphone for a second to let you cough. Um, but I don't think this microphone has one. Um, can't see one on here. No, there's no buttons on this microphone at all. So I'm definitely not. I thought I don't know. <coughs> Yeah, like, I, I just heard about that, uh, I was like, shit, is that a thing that exists? Should I have one of those? Because I cough and 
burp and shit on stream all the time, and that can't be fun to listen to. Now, if there's anything that way I can reduce that, would be great. Ah, that's why shit's so heavy. Um, I picked this up just because it's kind of a one-of-a-kind item. I'm not going to use it, but it's going in the... Get in the box. Uh, you know what? That's good for... That's good. It's only, it only weighs a pound. Uh, so I use these. I use that. That's good. I need that for cold weather. That's for cold weather. That's for pickpocketing. Do I have anything that I can just drop off here? Bear pelt, definitely. Like, what am I going to do with that? Um, that's going back to the monks, the lads. So that's going in the. That can go in the box. The torches are good to have in survival mode because you need them. To, you can use them to get a bit more warmth when it gets cold. Uh, shit. Could probably do with selling all this shit. We'll sell that on the way. Uh, let's have ourselves a nice 12 hour nap. Must be fucking nice, Big Hungry Joe, honestly. Sleeping for 8 hours is kind of a luxury. 12. Fucking incredible. Uh, what do I want? I think health. Health's just good to have. Um, what was it? Was there any like, project I was kind of working on? How's my... So you can see kind of my build is a stealth one-handed guy. So I have a lot of stealth abilities. Um, I kind of want to hit that because that's really fucking good if you can get it. But you've got to kind of go through the bow stuff. And we're not using a bow. Um, that's a great one. That I'll, that's what I'll get if I can't see anything else. Um... <clears throat> so we're also doing a lot of lock picking. So that tree is just that's where you want to get to with lock picking, just where not the lock picking minigame is particularly hard, it's just a nice little quality of life thing to have. Uh pickpocket in gold is good to have in general. These are just these aren't really essential, but they all are are a tremendous amount of fun, so I do want to hit those at some point. <clears throat> we have good speech skills, but we haven't really put any points into it. Illusion-wise... We only really use the quiet casting and invisibility. And we have that stuff already, so we don't need that as much. I think as soon as we... We could get the... We get that, that's pretty nifty to have, but I just don't use... I haven't been using my destruction magic at all. This is a good tree I've not invested in. I think we had start... I think I had started to go through this tree. But that's more of an offline thing. I think... Oh, we, we block as well, so that's... Elemental protection... So it's a toss up between. I'm gonna go with the stealth one, you know. I'm gonna regret it, but I feel like. That's kind of the. This is just a nice to have, it's not an essential. This is like the kind of an essential thing for stealth build, having that. So I think we get. I say we think we got that, I've just fucking got it. Uh, and I can legendary that skill, so that just means I lose all the skill points if I wanted to do something else, but I don't. Don't particularly want to. I'm happy with that. Uh, we need to eat before we head off. But we've got plenty of food, I guess. Um, you know, I just eat these things because we've got a shitload of them. There we go. I'll get back into the groove eventually. <clears throat> it's been, let's say, a couple. Of, I think the last time I played is the last time I streamed. So, uh, yeah, if you want to catch up on the streams that I've done, they're all on my YouTube channel. I think it's linked in the Twitch, but um, unless you are watching this on YouTube, in which case, you know, you already know where YouTube is, just 
hit the subscribe button there. You'll see stuff there, I assume. I assume that's how things work still. <clears throat> and then down here. I do wonder if you can take me. I think it's Iverstead. Can you take me there? I can take you to where do you want to go? I don't think he can. No, he's uh Until next time. he only goes to the capitals. I do have my own um I can get rid of this map marker now. I do have my own carriage driver, but he is here. And I it's much of a muchness really. It's about the same distance really, I think. And if we head this way, we can sell off a lot of our junk too, so... Clear up some carry weight for junk we plan to pick up later on. <laughs> so that's a good thing about survival mode as well, it discourages that uh, hoarding, like the... Sorry, I thought my horse was going to attack something then. Um, it discourages that hoarding that everyone does when they play Skyrim. They just grab every little item and just ha carry it on their horrible little... in their many mouldy, horrible pockets, but... can't really do that in survival mode, because you don't... you've got to be selective in what you pick up. Which I think is a great feature, it just means you... again, you're thinking about what you're doing more. Well, you always are, but you kind of... you kind of have to think about what you're doing. Um... <clears throat> We kind of use all this stuff, or we, I would I plan to. Um, get rid of all them. Get rid of. Let's get rid of four of those. Um, here we go. Do me a favor. So it's, we've cleared off a bit of space. Not not a lot, but we've got a lot of gear that we use. Well, like, I say a lot of gear that we use, but a lot of gear that we just kind of need as part of our build, really. <coughs> because as, as we are doing thief stuff, having, like, pickpocketing materials and stuff just makes life easier. All those potions are kind of like water breathing and I think this microphone I think it's kind of pushed away. Uh, yeah the water breathing stuff is just good to have just in case. Um, like the strength potions and everything. They come in handy when we uh, push our carry weight too high which is kind of all the time. There's a very good chance we'll have a massive bandit fight coming up too. <laughs> and I was thinking about this as well. I think this is why I'm getting hit with all the dragon attacks that I have been doing. Is because I'm not fast traveling around them anymore. <laughs> so I'm. Uh, <laughs> this is kind of like how the game. Because I, I remember thinking and probably exclaiming loudly on the stream, like, "Why are all these dragons just attacking constantly?" And it's probably because I'm just. I'm easy to track for the uh, whatever system the game uses to throw dragon attacks at you, yeah, just easier to pick where my location is. And I think with us doing the main quest, it just kind of increases how many dragon attacks that we get. Oh cool, we'll just go right past that bandit camp then. Oh. Then we will quick save is what we'll do. is out of uh, horse gas, so we have to kind of jog for a while. <clears throat> or I think when you're on a horse, it's called a canter, rather than a cat. That's, that is, uh, in case you're not a horse person, I'm not a horse person, but um, in case you're, you've never heard that before, apparently what, that's what it's called. It's a bit like... I think being a horse person is a bit like being a boat person. 
uh, because you just learn all these different words and phrases for things that we already have words and phrases for. Well, it's like it's not left and right, not left and right when you're on a boat. It's port and starboard. Do not ask me to tell you which is which. Uh, can we? Is this way we're going? We kind of. You know what? I ain't gonna. Oh shit! Come on. <coughs> Let's leave that, cause uh, that's taking us to a cold weather area. I think we need to go on foot to that cave to get up that mountain. Rather really just kind of follow the road, honestly. Get to keep the horse that way. And the horse is like essential for fast travel and um, the fast travel for like survival mode. <laughs> You absolutely need to have a horse. So is it? So we are kind of just following the first right turn we can get to that isn't right into the face of a mountain. Is what we need to how we need to go. Well, I've kind of missed Skyrim, you know. It's been I say a couple of weeks since I've. Uh, we go, it's warm here. Hey, we have a... Let's, see, let's test our stealth on it, but he already saw us. Hey, we'll leave the horse alone, you. <coughs> so we don't really need the stealth a lot of the time. It's only something we really do in uh, dungeons. Hello, you carry on your business. Nope. Yeah, that's one thing as well that I think I'd never noticed because I don't really use a horse in other playthroughs. If you're on a horse and you go to the map, looks like we were facing behind the horse, but now it swings to the, the left every time, which I always find really disorienting. <laughs> Bears aren't worth getting a horse for. Yeah, some fights are kind of like, I got off the horse and do this properly. Um, but like, some of them you, just, you can just run around a circle or, and just swing at them from the horse. <laughs> We are going way too far east. Hopefully there's a turn to the right coming up soon. But at least we're going upwards, so we can kind of going up that mountain, if nothing else. So another quick save in. Because you never know. <clears throat> Aha! This is what we need. Yeah, because not, not only can you sometimes get even with, because we're quite reasonably high level, so we're not that likely to get surprise attacked and die in one hit. But it still can happen, and it sucks to do that and then realise your last save was like an hour ago. Especially when you're on a stream doing it as well. <laughs> that just means you've got to kind of go back and do stuff people have already seen on stream. Which is kind of dead air. Uh... You're not worth the effort. Oh shit, was that two? Oh, I thought I just killed two wolves in one sword swing. That would be... That, that's pretty fucking cool. But nope, not that cool. We were playing D&D uh, &D before, and essentially the funniest thing to come out of it was we dropped a goat from 500 feet above Baldur's Gate right into the middle of the city, because <laughs> due to a, a confluence of different things, we ended up um, flying to get into Baldur's Gate, um, and we got attacked on the way. Our artificer has a like a 
bag of random animals, and she was going for a. Uh, I think she like. Th I think the plan was to go for a, a like a flying animal to attack these uh, things that were attacking us, and she got a goat instead. Uh, so the goat just, for its brief existence, just like all it knew was falling. Hello. What's this? Ah! Ah! Hey! Get out of here, Shadow Mia. Apparently this place is... These guys are quite... <clears throat> These guys are quite tough, actually. <laughs> got a lot of... Finally, a challenge. Hey, you leave the horse alone, dickhead. I don't know why they go for the horse when I'm the one just killing them. You got enough money to justify how many hit points you guys had? Not that it was particularly hard, honestly. That was just a. Uh... I think you catfish too. I've got a feeling we can't get up this way, you know. I think this leads just to this uh... this bandit camp. Let's see, anyway, maybe we'll uh, get lucky. Maybe. Can we get through? Whoa! Oh, shit! Don't fall off the... Don't fall off, Shadow Mayor. This... This is not... I don't think this is... This is... Uh, I don't think this is a good place for a horse to be. Let's just walk it. I don't think this is a good idea. I don't know why I continue to do it. Ah, uh, no, no, no. This is a bad idea. <laughs> But I think, I think we can just go around this. We can ride across this river. <laughs> I was like, I knew that was a bad idea. I don't know why I kept on doing it. <clears throat> That's another reason why the uh, horse is so useful. Uh, you can go into the water and you don't get like the... Because when you go into the water as a guy... Uh, just a dude, regular human. Uh, you get like immediately just snapped with like a load of cold that you have to deal with, um, which sucks. Like getting uh, the uh, the cold effects in. <clears throat> over in the right direction. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> the the cold status effect is nasty. Because if you don't treat it properly, it can kill you. Like it's a uh, with. Um, hunger and tiredness I uh, imagine eventually they do kill you but they they're so much more slow acting and they're easier to get rid of cold you just got to get somewhere warm and hope for the best another thing I'd say about survival mode that they definitely need is some kind of like meter that shows your uh, tiredness levels at the moment all we can do is go to um, one of these things. Magic is the one. There we go. Go to active effects and just see if any of this stuff is red. It doesn't say like um, how close we are to getting tired or not. Um, or what our current status is. Hold on. I'm going backwards. <clears throat> it's like just a, like a meter or like a a thing that told you what your uh, what you were, whether you're like comfortable or like cold or whatever. I don't know it's not like it's not game breaking. Obviously, it's just like it'd be a nice little quality of life thing that it could do with. Because I think this is based. I think this is like a mod that Bethesda have like paid for. I think. Um. It's like someone's mod that they made as part of the uh, anniversary edition updates. They added that as part of it. I think so. This is like the work of a small developer. It's not like the not Bethesda itself. Although you say that, the mods that I've used in there's not many of them on the PS4 version that you can use, admittedly. But the mods that I've used have been flawless. Like there's been none that have not, that have broken the game or done something anything 
<clears throat> anything like bad or anything like that or have rendered it unplayable or anything like that it's just been they've just been solid like they've been everything on them has worked uh, well, this is going to be a get off the horse moment um, but compare that to like friggin Bethesda itself and <clears throat> Bethesda games are famously riddled with bugs. I know this playthrough has certainly seen a share of uh, game-breaking ones. That that's not from the mods, that's just been the game itself. Like crashing or uh, stuff just teleporting into walls and stuff. Another one. Easily done. I say we're quite a high level at the moment, uh, like level 51. So a lot of these like minor enemies don't really cause too much trouble anymore. Though there are still still the occasional thing that can kick the shit out of us, though. We've got to be wary of. Now, eventually, if this uh, continues to get colder, I'm going to have to uh, put my cold weather gear on. <clears throat> I remember this when this frost troll was. Like, it's kind of a boss level frost troll, but like, now we're just gonna walk right through it. I should try and soul trap more of these things. There's chili here, so let's put on Yeah, this stuff is like a bit more... Well, it's way warmer. Because <laughs> every piece of armor has like a warmth rating. And I think this is like one of the highest that I can get. So should... I'm also playing a Nord as well, and they have like inbuilt cold resistance, because every, every race has their own little uh, quirk that comes into play as, in survival mode. <clears throat> And, like, Nords are really good in cold environments, but the cold still fucking destroyed me, though, like, even with the advantage that I've got. So I can't imagine how the other other races fare against the, <laughs> the cold. Almost there. And we're probably going to have to ride all the way back down as well. <laughs> like, that's another thing. <clears throat> no fast travel, so these are... We've got to make these trips fucking count. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a toss-up with my gear. Because this stuff I've got on is really warm. But the other stuff's got better armor rating, so in fights, that other armor is way better. And plus it can carry more as well. Increases my, uh, got more pockets and stuff. So, here we go. You've retrieved the yeah. Horn of your <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> I forgot about that. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you finally Ooh, we're doing... as Dragonborn. I'll ask you about the stuff I was going to ask you about later. Let's put my... You know, I'm just going to take the, the hood off so I can... <clears throat> a bit rude to be wearing a hat indoors, you know. Do I get... No. It counts as stealing when I do it. Let's do a quick save, just in case. Because this is like a story thing. It may glitch the game. <coughs> Excuse me. 
You are ready to learn the final word of unrelenting force. Down. Which means push. Push Rhoda. It's finally happening. I was convinced we already had it, but apparently we didn't. This shout is much more powerful. Oh, I'm fairly certain that I will. Okay. Free dragon shout. We would speak to you. Lay it on me. Between us, prepare yourself. You can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeards, but you are ready. <clears throat> it's cool listening to this in headphones, because it's like all the different voices are kind of hitting you at once. That's whatever you're. That's whatever you're talking about for you. Oh, we got more. Okay. <clears throat> God, more long-winded than my fucking university graduation. You have tasted the voice of the graybeards and passed through unscathed. High Hrothgar is open to you. Sweet. Wind, guide you. Uh, so, we want to learn a shout to defeat Alduin. <laughs> Who have you been talking to? Oh, you know, just laying it around. It was recorded on Alduin's wall. Wait, of course. <clears throat> they specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. I am inclined to agree. The dragonborn from the path of wisdom. To be totally fair, I, I'm doing a good job of steering away from the path of wisdom myself. Uh, listen, um, I'm not a puppet. No, no, of course. Follow my own path. I have been intemperate, but heed my warning. The blades may say they serve the dragonborn. But they do not. And they don't. They never have. Spoiler alert. So, like, these guys are, like, one of the few, um, faction-related, uh, like, conflicts in the game that's pretty much one-sided. Yeah, these are the good guys. No. I cannot teach it to you, because I do not know it. It is called Dragon Rend, but its words This is what I want. This is the cool shout to have. You do not regret this loss. Dragonrand holds no place within the way of the I mean uh, what's so bad about it though? It was like... created by those who had lived under the unimaginable cruelty of Alduin's dragon cult. Their whole lives were consumed with hatred for dragons. And they poured all their anger and hatred. Into <laughs> I think I've got a fair bit of hatred for these guys as well. You take it into your very being. What are you doing? Cycling overhead! In order to learn and use this shout, you will be taking <clears throat> this evil into yourself. I can handle it. I take a lot of things into myself. I eat enough to feed an army every day. Um, how can I defeat Alduin? Patronax, the master of our order, can answer that question. If he so chooses. Who is Parthenax? He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. Uh, I'd speak to him then. You weren't ready. You still aren't ready. But thanks to the blades, <laughs> you now have questions that only. Pop You're not ready, but you can go up anyway. Um. He lives in seclusion on the peak him yet. of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely, and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. So, how do I get Only there? those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to path of action. Let's go then. <clears throat> After you. 
quick save again because I don't want to go through that fucking dragon ritual again. Yeah, like I, I made a joke about my university graduation and I still remember this. It was like fucking three, gets me to 2020, then a further 14 years. So this was 15, 16, 17 years ago. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Wait, no, that's not right. That's 17 years ago. Uh, it was a while ago, you know. I, I don't know. I don't know the maths yet, but like I still remember this because I remember thinking it was so dumb. Like we had a um, I did creative writing as my degree. We had uh, like a bunch of people gave speeches and stuff. I don't remember most of them. I remember one in particular because it was so bad. Like it was a guy who was a autobiographer, and he just talked about how life writing like biography and autobiography is going to be the next big thing in literature we're all going to have to get into uh, writing biographies and and I guess like auto fiction became a thing but that's not really a that's you know that never really caught on as a thing I don't think um, and even that was like 20 years oh, like however many years after this guy was so adamant it was going to happen and I guess like social media was just kind of kicking off at the time so, to an extent, that kind of counts, but no one's making money off that shit, you know? I'm being so, like, long-winded. He took a long time to get to this fucking speech as well. I was like, I just want to finish this ceremony and get to the drinking. Get this fucking robe off. Excuse me. Ooh. Three words. You know what, this is actually quite a fun one to play with. Appreciate it. Hold on a sec, Chief. I'm very hungry. Keep moving. Stay focused on your goal. And we will reach the summit. Cool. Right then, let's get this shout equipped and let's get on with it then. Uh, clear skies. That's all we want. Quick save. And... I think we just use one. The shout will come back faster. There we go. Ooh, is this anything? Oh, tired now. I mean, not just in the game, like in life. <laughs> oh, we were peckish too. Let's eat something. Um... At least I'm well fed. To be fair, we did we did some good time there. We rode all the way from right, uh, rode all the way from White Run uh, in like a day, and we didn't. Uh, shit, we didn't really get tired. I don't need any shit from that guy. I'm over it, mate. I'm above it. Fucking hanging out in the mist, where you? Oh, maybe I can. Ah! <laughs> oh, I was like, oh yeah, the stealth, the thing I'm meant to be good at. <clears throat> oh, didn't even see that guy. <clears throat> they all go the same way in the end. It's gonna really do some good, uh, 
really fucking knock our uh, cold down. But yeah, every uh, every like uh, survival mode thing is attached to a different ability. So like, if you're tired, your magicka goes down. So it's not the end of the world if you're not using as that much magic. Uh, if you're hungry, your stamina goes down, which can get quite just inconvenient, but not really life ending. Cold gets your health down. <laughs> so like, yeah, you can get reach a point where you uh, you can lose that much health through the cold effect that you just die. See, so it reduces my health a little bit because I'm chilly. I explain this every time, just in case, like, um, anyone is here for the first time and doesn't know. Uh, but you have heard me explain this before, and I apologise if I'm repeating myself. Just realised, because we can't fast travel, we have to come up here every single time. <laughs> Remember the first time I came here, the first playthrough, I thought this was a dragon attack? Drem Yolok, greetings, Wundunik. I am a friendly, Arthanax. friendly dragon. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? Uh, you know, just uh, hanging out. Um. I was, let's be fair, I was expecting to be a dragon. I already knew that. Uh, let's see what happens when you say I that. I am as my <clears throat> father Akatosh made me, as are you, Dovakin. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? Then the dragon rent out, shouts. Mm. Can you teach me? Drem, patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dovakin. <clears throat> So you have to learn this word of power. I think I already have a fire one already. Um, I have two of them. Uh, and just a fuckload of. Oh, wait. It gives me one for free. It gives me one for free. And on, you know, and by one I mean the the shout. Show me what you... But also, I have a shitload of souls and. Do greet me not as mortal, but as Dova. Oh, oh! Ah, yes, Sosedo Vrostmul. The dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No. You seek your weapon against Alduin. And to stop these constant dragon attacks, because they are annoying. Um, the Greybeards didn't want me to come at all. Mm, yes, <coughs> they are very protective of me. Bahlan Fadon. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Krosis. Krosis, I know. That means sorry. To me. Your kind, Jaw, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. And I like these explaining the language as well. Cannot even comprehend I wonder if concepts. 
anyone's ever nerded out about the dragon language. Someone must... There must be someone, some nerd on the internet who knows every word of the dragon language and stuff. Like, they, people learn, like, Klingon and Dothraki and stuff. <coughs> Which... Uh, good for them, I guess. Them. Not for me. All in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this Because there are so many dragons attacking me all the time, and... I like this world. I don't want it to end. As good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all if... things must end so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin. <clears throat> Would you stop the next world from being born? I mean, if he was asking this about this world, I'd be like, you know what? Maybe. <laughs> like, we should, maybe it should end. And another one should be reborn. Uh, the next world will take care of itself. All my stuff ah, is here. A fair answer. Rofus, maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Wulsetid los trahodis. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may, may bring it closer. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. That's the thing, he's lonely. Closest. He wants someone to talk to. That's why I now always give him the... I will answer your question. <clears throat> hmm. Do you know why I live here at the peak of the Monavin? What you name Throat of the World? Because yeah, you just want someone to speak to. Um... So there are options to be like, oh, let's speed this along and keep it going. And that just seems really cruel, like, because they just want someone to speak to after, like, hundreds and hundreds of years sitting up on this mountain alone. Um, and they know dragons like mountains, right? Mm, true, but few now remember that this was the very spot where Alduin was defeated by the ancient tongues. Hmm? Varucht Unslad. Perhaps none but me now remember how he was defeated. They tongued him all night until he came good. Uh, innuendo. Using the dragon wrench out, right? Mm, yes and no. Viknuznikron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today, seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Okmulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to I just remembered what we've got to do coming him up. adrift on the currents of time. Uh, you're saying the ancient Nord sent Alduin forward in time? Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. May ye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, <clears throat> but not when. You know. Charles Martinet does the voice of uh, Parthenax. He's the guy who does the voice of Mario. Uh, just a little bit of fact. I think everyone knows this anyway, but like, How to I thought that was interesting. In your tongue. The Dove have words for such things that Jaw do not. 
It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist, <laughs> but it has always existed. Rahwatlan. They are mm, fragments of creation. The Kelly, Elder Scrolls, as you name them, they have often been used for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. But this is only a small part of their power. So far, Suryek. I thought that was the rude option, but that's the... T <coughs> okay. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Teed Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Loophole in the time stream. So, do you know where I can find an Elder Scroll? No. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. I don't know. Well, I'm going to have to go back through the place, Greybeard place, uh, on the way, so... That's, Trust your instincts, that's gone, Devotee. yeah, on the way down. Your blood will show you the way. Uh, so that's that's sorted easily. Um, so you have made your way here. To so <laughs> no easy task for a jaw <clears throat> mortal, even for one of Dova Source Dragon Blood. What would you ask of me? Um. Oh shit. Um, your lock. Greetings. Uh, did this come here to train? I have taught the way of the voice for centuries, and the Thum since long before that. But no, Dovakin. Others do not come here to train anymore. Saran, you are the first in over a hundred years. I meditate on the road. This is what I wanted. The words of power. Mm. I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. You meditate on the words. Knowing How? The word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. Contemplate the meaning of a Rotmulag. You will become closer to that word as it fills your inner self. Will I teach you, Dovatin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? There are three to master. Fus, Fime, and Yo. <clears throat> okay, there are like so these are like these are these are cool. Like Fus I know is just the best one. That um what that does is it makes you like you stagger less. So, like, when someone hit... Previously, if I get hit with a really powerful hit, I stagger, and that kind of uh, knocks you off balance for a bit. That, like, you stay steady, and it's really fun. Um, these I've never used, because these are... You've got to, like... I've never really looked at what these look at, but I think these are mainly for spellcasters, the other two. I think... Could be wrong, but this is the one I always go for, because it's just, just good for everybody. Force in your tongue. But as you push the world, so does the world push back. Think of the way force may be applied effortlessly. Imagine but a whisper pushing aside all in its <laughs> Hungry path. Hungry Parthenax, can we keep this, wrap this up? That is <clears throat> Fus. Let its meaning fill you. Sum Arkmora. 
you will push the world harder than it pushes back. Why is that Dropkick Murphy's lyric in it? Uh, the force without effort added. As it now, it's ah uh, fucking other get the other guys. Uh, social distortion. <laughs> Uh, sorry, uh... What was the dragon man shout do? I yeah. cannot tell you in detail. I never heard it used. Kogan. It was the first thum created solely by mortals. It was said to force a dragon to experience the concept of mortality. This is why it's so fucking cool. A truly von Minderon. Incomprehensible idea to the immortal dove. <laughs> like the idea of it is like it. If you shoot it, shoot the dragon wrench out of a dragon, you knock it out the sky, and it lands, and it forces you to fight it like hand to hand, uh, which is good for us because we're melee focused. Um, it stops all that fucking faffing about with watching them circle above your head, throwing fireballs at you. Um, this is all stuff uh, we don't need. Let's get out of here. Look Bye, Parthenax. Uh, we're peckish, so let's eat. How are we doing? Satisfied. Eat another one of them. So we're well fed. We're also fucking knackered. So ideally... If there's a... Oh. I thought that was legitimately a dragon attack, but... Because he's a dragon, he uses the same... Uh, uh, the same... Uh, like, sounds as a regular dragon. Let's see if we can't find our way back down. Well, the goats have no trouble getting up here. Maybe there's like a goat born, like a different, uh, different type of superhero who's uh, who's power, the ability to just goat their way up a mountain. Did I finish the story I was telling about the? Uh, yeah, I did, didn't I? Yeah, the uh, our artificer dropped a goat out the sky, <laughs> which was amazing. Cause like we dropped the goat. And that was, uh, that was by itself weird. And then we landed on our, like, uh, flying horses. <laughs> and, like, just in the middle of the town, pretty much. Like, hey, everybody. Yeah, it's good to have her back. Like, she's been, uh, ill recently. I've not been able to make, to, make it to our... Our games when we've had them, um, which is like on the mend and a lot better now, and able to make it for like the first time in months, in a couple of months. And yeah, she's great. She's a she's like a lot of fun. <laughs> she's like a, just an absolute agent of chaos at the table. Like if there's the most chaotic thing possible, she just like does it. That's part of the reason why we have the flying, the ability to fly now, is because she um, she has just a shitload of different pets that she's picked up. Uh, one of the, some of those pets are horses. Uh, we all got one wish because we finished a quest, a long quest recently, um, and her wish was that her horses could fly. And because she also has a carriage that she's modded up, um, and as an artificer anyway, she just made. We basically have a plane now that can get us around uh, Faerun really quick. It's a really fun D and D game. Like, um, it's kind of oh, oh, here we go. Starting to get uh, the cold, starting to get to me. But I fucking love it. It's so much fun. <laughs> like. Uh, Originally, it was a uh, Candlekeep Mysteries campaign, uh, like the source book. The the um, oh, are you on gear? No. No fucking. Actually, let's stand here for a bit while we warm up. You were originally just doing like the Candlekeep Mysteries, 
over like um and then each time we leveled up and stuff but uh, our dm got uh, the fizzbands treasury of dragons the other like the dragon source book and she came up with a whole other new dragon related bunch of dragon related quests that we were doing for a bit so we've kind of been and this kind of this kind of became a standard forgotten realms campaign what? because of that <laughs> Um, right, where's Han Gear? Is he... <clears throat> so he is... Because there is a building up here. He's up here. This <laughs> is a tremendous amount of fun. Because we are kind of all, like, ridiculous characters. It's mainly, like... It's a very, like, comedy-type game as well. Like, it's... Dragon blood burns bright within you. Did he tell you what you wanted to know? Did he teach you the dragon wren to shout? No, but I know how to find out. If he believes it is necessary for you to learn this, we will bow to his wisdom. I need the Elder Scroll the ancient shoes. Do you know where to find it? We concerned ourselves with the scrolls. The gods themselves would rightly fear to tamper with such things. As for where to find it, such blasphemies have always been the stock and trade of the mages of Winterhold. I know a guy they that... They may be able to tell you something about the Elder Scroll you seek. One of my Thieves Guild fences is, uh... I'd like to learn more about the voice. You have learned so much already, Dragonborn. Growing your gift too quickly would be dangerous. But there are many words of power in This is a good little side quest as well. Dragon tongue. Even from What's a radiant here, quest, so it refreshes every time. From them. Finding these lost words would be a sufficient test to temper your abilities with experience. Ask when you are ready. It's good to have one of these... Uh... So bad. If we locate any words of power. I felt the whisper. Oh, nice knees. Hold on. Give me your map and I will <sighs> show you where it's... Well, I was. But the sneeze met, um, I slept funny on my back yesterday, so like the sneeze met my bad back, and my bad back won. <laughs> Breath and focus. I'm gonna get in indoors and sit by a fire for a bit. <clears throat> we had the, yeah, the D&D campaign is just tremendous fun, like we've got our artificer who's just a pure chaos gremlin who just like fucking every opportunity to just cause chaos with like random inventions and bits of like random magic and stuff it's fun um, got a a blade singer wizard that my mate's playing is uh, just insanely powerful <laughs> like it's kind of like a Hulk basically just like just point him at enemies at like anything that crosses our path and he just fucking wipes his way through it. Uh, but he's also like just a massive book nerd so all he does is like really hard to drag him away from his books to do stuff. Um, and my character is just a, a a nobleman who got disinherited and just basically wanted to become a adventurer to prove that he still deserves to inherit his family fortune and like and stuff <clears throat> but he um so all he all he wants to do is just build a name for himself so like every little thing that happens he takes credit for <laughs> like uh everything that goes wrong even if it is his fault specifically <laughs> he doesn't uh doesn't blame like blames like everything else around him. It's a really fun character to play. Like, um... It's a, a rogue, and then it's like the D&D, the like, memes, I fucking hate. Like, the whole, like, idea that every bard's gotta be horny, every rogue's gotta have a tragic backstory, and stuff like that. It's like, it's just, like... Just do my own thing. Like, we're all ridiculous goofballs, pretty much. Um... We've all got, like, reasons why our characters are faintly, like, ridiculous. Even though we are, like, insanely powerful now. Like, we're level 10. So, we're, uh, <laughs> like... 
got like world ending magic and just like all of our martial characters are just Bruce Lee levels of badass but like <laughs> they're just just goofing around <clears throat> So I love D and D, man. Like every D and D game I've played in has been just so much fun. Like even like I don't think I've had a bad D. &D. Like I know like um, there are like D and D horror stories where like you know people have had like abusive environments or like bad DMs and stuff. I don't think I've had a bad D and D experience. I don't think I can't think of any. Anyway. I know when I played in high school, uh, secondary school, uh, uh, the teacher who ran the D and D club that we were in was kind of a killer DM. Like he would always like, but he would run it as like rather than combat challenges, like lots of puzzles and stuff. Because obviously he was trying to be like educational, um, so like there's lots of puzzles and like random things like that that we had to figure out. And our character's abilities didn't really come into it very much, but we were also playing second edition at that time, so I always kind of associate second edition with being kind of harder. And it is like harder to figure out second edition. Like have you ever tried to work out Thacko? I have played the original two Baldur's Gate games and I played second edition for a time. I still couldn't tell you how it works, like <laughs> Yeah, I played in a bunch of different uh, D and D things over the years, and I've never had a bad, a bad time with any of them. Oh, troll, troll are coming. Come on, then let's uh, let's go. Listen, I'm very sleepy. Can you can you not? Oh shit! <coughs> Didn't even have my weapon equipped. That would uh, that would have helped, wouldn't it? even worth putting the shield on, honestly. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry, I'm... I think I'm getting another cold for like the 50 millionth time. <laughs> but I don't think this one's as bad as the one I had last time I streamed. That was pretty bad. That one I was convinced was COVID, because it was just more like once it reached a point of like, because um, it gave me like a funny back taste in the back of my throat, and it was a lot of like coughing and uh, sore throats and stuff. So even though I was testing negative every time I tested, I still I didn't feel safe like um, going outside that much when I had that. And when I did, I masked the fuck up with like I think I used the last of my masks during the whole uh, <clears throat> the whole time. I used to just steal them from uh, from work when I. <laughs> but now I quit that job. I can't do that anymore. So I think I've got like two or three masks left. Ever. Like. <laughs> and then I have to find a way to buy some more. Because I still like. I still. Even though like. I'm vaccinated to the hilt. I've got like all the vaccinations I need. Um, still mask up every now and then. Not that I'm not one of these people who like masks every time they go to a place. And fair play to you if you do. That's still good of you to. I think you're. A, are you a courier? Are you here to tell me something? I've been looking. Yeah. <laughs> got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see. I have a letter here from Quintus Navale in Windhelm. He said it was urgent. Quintus Navale? Who is that? Not sure who from. He wouldn't oh, say. And he was a friend of yours. A letter from a friend of mine. Looks like that's it. Time to go. So a letter from Quintus Navale. Who's that? Uh, so what a letter from a friend. Okay. So another... There it is. Who's Navale? Who's this? During the... Ah, oh, okay. Did I do this on stream? 
It was a... If I didn't do it on stream, I can't remember now. Um, I had to find a magic file for a alchemist who was dying. Uh, I found it, it was broken. But like during Neuralian's convalescence, I've been studying the legends of the file. I don't know enough of enchanting to make one anew, but with the proper materials, I may be able to repair the original. Please come see me as soon as you can. Respectfully, Quintus Navale, Windhelm. Cool. So next time we're in Windhelm, we'll stop in and see about that. Because the vial, I remember, is quite a cool item to get. But for now, fucking Big Hungry Joe is knackered. He's like coming to the end of his uh, uh, fatigue bar there. Well, I think it's the tiredest he's been uh, I think tires have allowed him to become without having a massive carriage journey beforehand. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> now, let's see that appetite. Hmm? So we got some stuff. Uh, let's just buy all the food he's got and rent a room. Thing. It's yours for a day. <laughs> I'll show you to your room, right this way. I'm so sorry. If you pass through again. Uh, let's put on a. Uh, Perhaps I should have put that on before, that makes prices cheaper. Oh well. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Looks like we're sharing a room then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know you, but it looks like we're sleeping in this room together. I'm gonna be hungry, so let's uh Eat a thing. Have some salmon for breakfast. Satisfied. Should have gone for the goat roast. Um, yeah, that, that's heavier. <laughs> Always try and eat the heaviest items that I've got in my inventory. Because that just means less. I'm not carrying as much around with me. Anyway. Uh, nope. Sorry. Horse. Where is Nothing. my horse? My kingdom for a horse. Uh, quick save. And where are we going? <clears throat> so we are heading to Volenrood for the Oh I don't need that. Ugh. Gotta go to Winterhold to get find the source of the Elder Scroll. Let's sort this out. Uh, we don't want you. So we don't want any of those. We just wanna to have this. Excuse me, sorry. Um, kitchen of the Elf So we go that way. Uh, we are going to need to go to White Run <coughs> to use the stable, to use the horseman or the carriageman there. So let's set ourselves a little waypoint. Um, kind of back the way we came. Survival mode. Riverwood. Okay, yeah, it says Riverwood's this way. <clears throat> but I guess that's that's kind of through Helgen. And as I learnt to my fucking sh eternal shame on one of these streams, we can't get our horse through the gates of Helgen. <laughs> so there's a huge portion... Well, that's a huge... There's a, there's a road that's blocked off to us unless we want to go on foot. Which... You know, we can do, but... Let's follow the signs to White Run anyway. Uh, the White Run is. Oh! I see we've got a couple of. A couple of troublemakers. I'll tell you what, put. Uh, should we. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh, we, we've got it! Let's use it! Fuck it! Uh, <laughs> Dragonborn, bitch! Let's go! I mean, it's, that's that's why it's, uh, that's why it became a meme for a while. And tactically, that's a good way to use it as well. Like, um, attack from both sides, Fushrodar, one of them down the cliff, kill the other one. 
Right, where so Helgen and White Run are this way. So let's. I think this is going to take us to Helgen. Let's just see. Anyway, maybe, maybe there is a. I hear a bear going off, but oh yeah, there he is. Leave my horse alone, you bully! Stop it! No. <clears throat> kind of sucks that there's so many like hostile bears in this game. I don't know if bears are like that in real life. They just attack everything they see. They they seem to be pretty chill, unless people are fucking with them. Oh, that's cool. I don't care. Alchemist check. Nope. Lots of stuff trying to kill me on this road. I was in the middle of saying something. What was I saying? Uh, I don't know. Kind of important. There's a very good chance we'll have to abandon Shadowmere, but we'll get her back next time we get a carriage somewhere. So if we do, there are ways around it. It's fine. What are we doing streamwise? Are we uh... uh? Do let me know in the chat if anything is like technical going wrong. Because I'm although I've got the stream in a like in my laptop window, uh, I'm not watching it all the time. So if stuff goes does go wrong, it takes me a while to notice. Hello there, how are you doing? Excuse me. look at the map and see where we're... Although, no, we may not need to go through Helgen at all. We can probably just, uh... I think swing to the right at some point and we can, uh... Helgen, Riften, and I have a third of that way. Just keep following the signs to Helgen. And this is another thing you've got to do in survival mode. you just got to... If there's road signs, they are just... They just save your life. they they're great. Uh, yeah, I think we go this way. I think. Oh, there we go. That's a nifty little shortcut to Iverstead. <clears throat> oh shit! What the fuck was that? Ah, uh, scared the shit out of me. Just a bear trap. Nothing to be excited about at all. <laughs> really fucking scared me. <laughs> so, Orphan Rock. Let's look at our... So maybe it's this way. Oh, this feels like it's... Uh... Might be a. If I you know my Skyrim geography, that's just a really nice view. Doesn't really get you anywhere. I think we're going this way. Well, we can't go wrong by going north. It's the way that we're going. Uh, is this going to lead me back east? Is that? Is this going to take me? Yeah, I think that's a dead end. Maybe we have got to go through this way. I think this might be a dead end, you know? 
Let's have a look anyway. Oh, we're chilly now. Oh no, no, we can go down. It's okay. The horse is fine. This, this like Shadow Mayor regenerates health, so like he's tougher than I am. <laughs> I don't regenerate health. I'm in survival mode. <laughs> Ah, this might be a one-way trip, you know. I don't know if this is a shortcut. Ah. Oh, this kind of sucks. I thought this was a way to... Uh, shortcut to Iverstead, but no. It's like this is a... Sorry, sorry. I'm trying not to... I'm, even though he regenerates health, I'm trying not to fucking make him do that. <laughs> if I can help it. Yeah, this is like... Uh, I think you've kind of got to go through Helgen. Well, you've got to go through Helgen to get there. You can go back this way. This is like a shortcut back to Riverwood. Oh well. That kind of sucks. That would have been cool if it was, there was a way through. We can, we can get to White Run, rest there, and then fast travel to fucking. I say fast travel, carriage to Winterhold. We'll get rid of this way marker. I don't know where I'm going now. We get to Winterhold, which is a fucking terrible place to be on survival mode. Like, it's <clears throat> just a really horrible place to try and stay warm. So there's just very few sources of warmth in the whole place. <laughs> but we have our contacts at the college anyway, so... It is, uh, we don't have to do the co the College of Winterhold stuff <laughs> to get in there, because that would make this thing take forever. I don't really have anything new to sell, so let's... Shadow Man, not far to go now. long time to just select in the menu, so it's not really, um, it's not really, uh, efficient to, <laughs> to use that, but it's just in case you need it. How long have we been streaming for? <clears throat> Let's have a look. Um, it does not say... Looking to do some hunting. Did I? Hold on. Avoid Brittleshin Pass. It's southeast of here. Let's see what it does. It doesn't say how long I've been streaming for. Used to. Uh, well, I've got it on my thing anyway. Uh, about an hour or so. Oh, don't need that run anymore. Sorry, I'm just clicking around on my laptop to. Uh, about an hour or so. I need to ask you to stop. That shouting is making people nervous. <clears throat> Wait, what? Too bad. More where that came from. Any laws against 
Whatever that is you're doing, but I'll lock you up if I have to. Let's see you try. I've got my eye on you. I am a Fane and a member of the Thieves Guild. You cannot fucking you touch me. I am, to all intents and purposes, fucking bulletproof. I am literally your boss. You know who I am, Lydia. I know I don't use you as a companion, but come on. Uh, let's. We could. We could potentially risk it. But. Should we. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to stay, stay anyway. Um. When, how do I get to... 24 hours would take me to this time tomorrow. It's 10.56 tomorrow. 9.56 tomorrow. 8.56. 7.56. And... 6.56. So it'll be like 7 in the morning-ish. <clears throat> So then you're like trying to travel during the day, so you're less likely to get like trapped with like uh, cold and stuff. So fucking again. hungry though. So let's eat our venison chop and our leg of goat roast. Pure fucking protein. Burn and clean. Not a vegetable in sight. If fucking Big Hungry Joe had to shit, he would just die. <laughs> like. Because <laughs> it's like. Barely eats vegetables. Because vegetables don't restore much uh, hunger. Like me, if I go more than a day without eating a vegetable, I start to fucking melt and die. <laughs> it is bad. Like, there have been, like, occasional days where I've just, like, through stupidity on my part, more than anything else, I have, um, put my, preemptively put on my cold weather stuff, because we're going somewhere cold. I have, like, uh, just had a day where I've just had no vegetables or fruit in. I just had to live like that. The next day afterwards, I just feel like I've just been hit with a fucking truck. Like, a need a ride? <clears throat> Where do you want to go? It's not even like a. I get my five a day because I want to lord it over people. I get my five a day because I need to fucking live. <laughs> like, climb and back, and we'll be off. Do you feel the fucking difference in those days when yeah. I just had nothing but like, uh, just. With said no vegetables and stuff, so trying to do that at all if I can help it. So I don't know how big hungry Joe must be feeling. No wonder he gets hungry so quickly. Ugh. Right, treacherously cold and tired and hungry, so we immediately need to go to the inn and have some. Eat this, see how we do the well fed. Ah, that's cool. Someone just messaged me then. I'll quickly see what that is. Uh, nothing important. Oh, LinkedIn! LinkedIn. Got a LinkedIn message, everybody. <clears throat> I say that, but I've been keeping in touch with the people I used to work with on LinkedIn, so I've been using it. <clears throat> not like it's a. <laughs> not someone had someone got it. I know, at least. Ugh. Ugh. Right. Just kind of standing here doing fuck all. Uh, hello. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Uh, is it worth? I just wanted to like uh, get warm, but is it worth? 
It's so not worth this. staying here. We've got a room at the... Uh, I keep want to call it the academy at the, at the college. Let's fucking use that. I suppose I could have bought some food off them, but we've got shitloads of food. We're fine. I, when I first started doing survival mode, every time I stopped at a town, I just bought them out of every item of food they have, but... You don't get... Even though the guy's name is Big Hungry Joe, you don't get that hungry, you know? If you've got a couple of food items, you'll be okay, you know? I just swapped to a different beer. Are we going to the Archmage? I swapped to a different beer and that's always a bit of a... Ugh, adjustment to my palate. Just went from Plum Porter to Old Speckled Hen, so that's a bit of a leap in quality. As in a downgrade. Like, it's uh, not as good, but it's also a lot cheaper, so... Sorry, my phone is right under the microphone now. I'll move it over here. Yeah, like, uh, my phone loves just giving me... That was, that was Bumble, by the way. It's probably not a match, because I've not used Bumble in... Fucking God knows when. Uh, anyway, you I there. Mean, you are now in the Arcanium, of which I am in charge. It might as well be my own little plane of oblivion. Disrupt my Arcanium. And I will have you torn apart by anger. Well, that's a fine now. fucking hello, isn't now, it? Do you require assistance? Uh, Elder Scroll. And what do you plan to do with it? Need it. Do you even know what you're asking about? Or are you just someone's errand boy? I don't like your tone. Of course I do. You think do I have one here? Do you have one here? One here, I would let you see it. it would be I'm very charming. Security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. What about, what about the what Dragonborn? Are you? Were you the one the Greybeards were calling? I'll bring everything we have on them, but it's not much. Oh, that was easy. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. Uh... There's also the fucking Sarthal stuff Until we could do. Time. I'm not going to, because it's fucking boring. Even if you were a mage, it's a boring side quest, this one. <laughs> Is a dungeon crawl? Try not to spill anything on them. And it's a dungeon crawl full of mages, and mages are the toughest fights in... Uh... The whole thing about the effects. You go blind if you read them. Uh, this is madness. Just a bunch of rambling, some HP Lovecraft-esque rambling, and hundreds of years have gone into assembling this collection. Ruminations book is uh, incomprehensible. That's the work of Septimus Cygnus. He's the world's master of the nature <clears throat> of Elder Scrolls, but well. He's been gone for a long while. Mad long. as a box of frogs. Somewhere up north, in the ice field. There you go. He said he found some old Dwemer artifact. But well, that was years ago. Ooh, haven't heard from him since. And you never thought to check up when he said he had a Dwemer artifact? I mean, it's not, not your job to check up, really, but like, did any, no one check up on him? You know, I thought you guys were meant to be, you know, the nerds of the world. You're meant to be studying stuff. The Dwemer artifact seems pretty important. A hey, dragon attack. Oh, maybe not. Maybe just stealth, because... So I want no part of any dragon attacks, thank you. I'm going to use my room in the tower of the college and I'm going to go to the fucking ice fields which is going to even be fucking co even colder than the uh... you it is difficult to admit but this is not your room though Jazago. 
What do you need? You are new, yes? Have you mastered the expert level destruction spells yet? I'm an illusionist. Ah, this is good. But I'm touch destruction first. It is good to finally be around mages who may be able to keep up with this Argo. Okay. Seems it sure is of yourself. Particularly sure while you're in my fucking room. There is skill in magic. There is charm and there is a strong will. Jezargo will be successful. Of this there is no doubt. Uh, what do you need help with? Jezargo has seen that Tofdir likes you. You must be very skilled with magic, yes. Jezargo is working known hard, to dabble. but cannot do it alone. Can you help with this? Jezargo has need? worked hard on learning new spells, trying new things. This will make Jezargo stand out as a mage. But Jezargo works so hard, there is no time to test these new spells. If you help with the testing, this will make learning easier. Jezargo will give you scrolls. You will use them and report the results. This is a good plan, no? You tell yes, Jezargo when you're to dungeon and stuff all the time, so sure. <laughs> you can resist, can you? Let's see. This one, I think. Jezargo has designed Sorry, you to be an excellent flame cloak with a twist. It is especially potent against the undead, and should burn them to a crisp in no time. Jezargo gives you plenty of these scrolls, so you try them and return when you can say whether they work. I hope these aren't fucking heavy, Jezargo. Jezargo awaits word of... Uh, they're fucking heavy as well. When so there's gonna be some undead coming up to the next dungeon. Uh... Remind me next time we see any kind of undead, we use those because they are heavy as fuck. I need to get rid of them. Package as well, so let's have some well fed. Let's go. Well fed, warm, and well rested. As good as we're going to get. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a terrible place to fight a dragon, frankly. I wonder if it's not worth just leaving them to their fucking fate, but no, it's not. Let's be good about it and take this fucking thing down. It's an ancient dragon as well. Shit, where'd he go? I don't think this is a good place to fight him, honestly, but oh shit. <laughs> Oh god, that barely did anything. This is why we need Dragon Rend. <laughs> so my dragon fights suck so fucking hard. Like, oh, you cheeky bugger! Didn't even hit him with that one. Fuck. Got him. Don't walk in front of me, please, because... Oh, I hit him with that one. Didn't do fuck all damage, but I hit him. Can't say fairer than that. Because, like, yeah, this... Why this sucks is, like... I mean, I'll, I'll quick say, but we'll do it. Like, it's not like it's hard. It's just, it's time-consuming. Because, yeah, each arrow does barely any damage. He's, hov he's flying around your head like this. I mean, once it lands, we'll have him, but he's just gonna, not going to land, because there is no in-game reason for him to do so. And he's got Frost Breath as well, which also knocks your... Um... See, my uh, warm went down, so I'm also going to become slower. And my health's going to go down. Not... Ideal, frankly. Shit, that went right through him somehow. <clears throat> no, I'm gonna 
quick save again because these dragon fights can turn on a fucking ten penny piece. Shit, is he landed? He's landed, let's fucking have him. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh well, have I got my Elemental Fiori's equipped? At least the uh, Shadow Man is tanking for me. There we go. It's him dead at least. Get some of our arrows back. That's good. Someone's got to manually take these fucking arrows off. Because, uh... That's, an, that's partially the reason why I don't use much archery in this playthrough is because arrows have weight, so carrying too many arrows is uh, not a good idea. Also, I can't aim for shit, like I'm really bad at aiming, so I try to avoid any kind of long range combat in pretty much any game. Although, Saying that, I've been playing a lot of uh, GTA 5 recently, um, <clears throat> and I think my aim is kind of improving a little bit because of that. Not that I'm like, uh, I'm using like the aim assist on there, like I'm not an idiot, but uh, now if I remember correctly. Uh, see, this is a route that we've taken a lot of times before, and <clears throat> it's always a bit of a bike. Like... Trying to see if I remember the way. I was saying, yeah, I've been playing a lot of GTA, well, mainly the online stuff, so, um, like the, because I'm using aim assist, which helps, but you still have to, like, manually, like, aim for a lot of it. So I think my aim has been improving slightly. I think a large part of why my aim sucks, it didn't always suck this bad. I remember I was like quite good at like uh, Saints Row and those don't have like any kind of aim assist. You just have to... Uh... This is the way I think. Um, you have to kind of like manual aim at everything. Uh, and I used to be really good at those. Like it was a... No, I'm not even going to fucking bother with these because I know there's something horrible. This is like you hug the wall in this area. Because there's a Wisp Mother, I think. And they are... Fucking horrible. <clears throat> yeah, I think like part of the reason why my aim sucks is because I don't play any kind of shooters, really. Whereas previously I played a lot of Saints Row, and I played a lot of GTA. Um, uh, but... Recently, just see there's the wisps there. We don't want to go near that. In the past like couple of years, I've not played a lot of games with shooting in. As a consequence, my aim has gone gone bullshit. But it's improving, I think. Uh, look, I don't want any part of this. I don't want to fight anywhere near that wisp mother. We can go up there, but we can't really... No, fuck it. Sorry, Shadow Mia. You're resistant to the cold. I'm not. <clears throat> yeah, I've definitely found that... I 
I'm aiming a lot better. It's partly, part, during the dragon fight, I definitely felt like I was, my aim was kind of on target a bit more than it normally is. I do have this weird love-hate relationship with GTA Online, though. On the one hand, I really... Let's just sell this stuff, and then I'll explain. And on the one hand, I really enjoy the single-player stuff that you can do on there a lot. It's when you have to start relying on other people, it starts to suck. And a lot of the content is designed to ferry you towards relying on other people. Oh man, this sucks, it's not... Can I get rid of all these? <clears throat> like, the way the game is designed, it's meant to make you... sign on with, like, a bunch of friends and play it that way. So the way the missions are designed, they are, like... I wouldn't even say... I want to, like, my instincts go brutally hard, but they're not hard. Like, I'm winning pretty much all of them all the time. I do, like, I don't lose the missions at all, but I do uh, not enjoy them, <laughs> is, is the thing, um, because they are, like, so designed for other people. So all the shootouts are designed to have someone watching your back when you go in, and if you're doing it solo... Um, you're just constantly vulnerable from behind. Um, if you're doing it with other people, which I'm relying on, like, random strangers on the internet, and sometimes they're really good and we nail the mission. Other times they are fucking dumb fucking trolls who... They're either trolls who die on purpose or fuck things up on purpose, or they're just inexperienced and bad at the game and die because they, they're not very good. So it's a crapshoot on who you get. Like, if you get a good bunch of people. Like, I did have a little mini squad that I was running through some stuff with. And we were unstoppable. Like, it was fucking great. Like, we just kept... Because, <clears throat> like, even though we didn't have mics and stuff, we weren't communicating. There was, like, an Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find instinctive communication not, there. Let me know. I might have it stored away. But you don't always get that. You sometimes get a bunch of knobheads. Anyway, let's... Just at least check in on this and see. My master can be a bit short tempered. I got your letter. What's up? You can be a difficult man to find. Thankfully, those couriers are tenacious. I just realized I'm wearing the wrong type of hood. Oh well. I have some thoughts. There are three crucial elements. Some may be easier to find than others. On the top of the throat of the world is a patch. Of now you snow. tell me. No heat it. <laughs> it was just there. Then we need the tusk of a mammoth. Ground to a fine powder as only the giants know how. Okay. The final step is tricky. It requires the briar heart from a forsworn of the reach. If you can bring me these materials, the file can again be made whole. Okay. They're doable. On top of the throat of the world is a patch of snow that's. Oh, excuse me. Oh, that was that was meant to be quiet and it fucking beards taught it to ignore smashed its way out. Sorry about that. Heart. The original file was made from this snow. We'll only need a small bit for the repairs. Like, trick of the trade is I know how, like, stupidly gassy I get on stream. Only seems to happen on stream, though. Never, not as bad in real life. But, uh... I think it's like a nervous, a nervous thing. I've kind of known to kind of hold it back and breathe it out the side of my mouth. So it's not like just burping into the microphone. Um, and nine times out of ten, you can't hear it. Uh, sometimes it just sounds like I'm breathing a bit heavier. Um, <laughs> you don't need to know this. This is just dumb. But uh, yeah, that one was just... I was trying to do that, and then it was like, Nope, fuck you. It's coming out full fucking volume. <sighs> don't know why that is. Don't know it's only on stream this happens. Um, the final tempering of the file was performed with a type of old magic that's been lost since the Dragon War. The nearest modern incarnation of it is the strange rituals practiced by the Forsworn. With the heart of one of their Briar Warriors, I can lock the file's magic into its physical form. It's difficult to explain to the layman. Forgive me if I begin waxing alchemic. Uh, the mammoth tusk powder. The ivory produced by those beasts is as hard as iron, 
The giants have found ways to make it yield. They're able to grind it down so fine that it can be infused into the lattice of packed snow. The finished material has the delicate nature of fresh powder snow, but the strength of the hardest steel. Until We've next got time. our work cut out for us, haven't we? <clears throat> I don't know why I'm saying it only happens on stream as well. Like I think the the I'm a, I'm more aware of it on stream is what I mean to say. I get indigestion a lot. Is a <laughs> fresh fruit and vegetables for sale. So you've come to see me to trinkets, odds and ends, that like, sort of thing. Also, you don't need to know this. You know, it's just me saying about why there's so many random little gasps and stuff on stream. On stream, I mean, uh, let's sell off. Just all the stuff that's got weight to it. I can get rid of all those and sell a couple of these. You got anything that I can maybe buy off you? No. Back and bring more merchandise. So we're not tired. I think we can push on to... Where are we going? I got distracted. Um... Balls. You know what I think we've just fucking done? We've gone... No, it's fine. I think we need to stay in Winterhold. <laughs> I think we need to stay in Winterhold and kind of go to the ice flows from there. Fuck. Wasn't thinking I'd win on autopilot. <laughs> That's fine. It's not the end of the world. We can figure it out. Uh, Doesn't show on the map, weirdly. That could be partially why, you know. Um... Actually, you know what? I think we can just circle around there. It's. I think this is doable. Let's get our horse and head off. Head off out there. But first, let's put on our cold weather gear. Ah, it's fine, it's Skyrim survival mode, innit? You're gonna end up in these situations where you <laughs> walk yourself into a corner, but we'll just walk ourselves the fuck back out of it, won't we? Sorry, shit. What the fuck was that accent? That fucking came out as Scottish for some reason. <laughs> Sorry, Shadow Man. <laughs> I didn't know. Uh... Like my eyes just started to roll of their own accord then. Quick save. And again, I'm sorry about this, but you are resistant to the cold in ways that I am not. So you can take it. I will fucking die if I go in here. Ah. Ah. And aha! Not worth sticking around to fight them because they don't give you that much. And also, fucking. Well, none of these things give you anything, but they're not that much of a threat. Obviously, they're very slow. Oh god, no. No, thank you. Not today, wisp mother. Maybe some other life. Yeah, because, like, wisp mothers are... Companions 
of this. Never seen them this far enough. <clears throat> yeah, wisp mothers, are, wisp mothers are bad news in survival, like, at the best of times. But in survival mode, they're even worse. Because they're fast moving, they use frost magic, and yeah. A couple of lucky hits from them, and you are just fucked. If there's no other option, I'll try and fight them and see how we get on. Probably survive, but yeah. If I can avoid a fight with one of them, I will do it every time. It's it's just magic users in general in, in Skyrim are so hard to fight. Because unlike a human being, they have really good aim with their spells, so they always hit. They mostly hit you with the spells, no matter. Well, you can kind of dodge around them, but they'll hit you with the. They'll hit you with their spells better, and they also have like like frost magic slows you down, um, which you know fucks you up if you're a melee fighter, uh, as we are. Um, like the fire magic makes the screen darken, which is is just a neat little environmental effect. Unless you're colorblind, in which case it mutes all the colors, and you can't see as well. So it doesn't blind you completely, but it makes things tough to see. In the same way, like you got like I have to focus to differentiate between colours sometimes. I have to differentiate between what's happening in front of me and uh, just in general everything just what's happening. So I kind of in a sense just get blinded by like fire spells which isn't good. And like lightning you hope they use lightning basically because all that does is uh, knocks your magicka down a bit. But yeah magic users are fucking horrible. The only way I've found to deal with them is to either get lucky and win out through pure fucking determination or hit them with stealth. That's the only ways I've found to, to win fights with magic users in this game. Like it in all the years I've been playing it, it's been it's a problem. So that's why I always hate anything that may put you in like conflict with a magic user. So I try and avoid those, just avoid those missions in general when I can, unless they're completely unavoidable. That's why I don't do the uh, Winterhold quest line that often, or the College of Winterhold quest line. Like I bring it to a certain point to get the the um, the perks of being a college member, but then unless I really need the the Archmage stuff for that playthrough, I just won't touch it. So I probably won't touch it uh, this this playthrough at all. I don't think I'll ever... Well, unless people want to see it, you know, I'll I'll do it then. But you got to tell me you want to see it. Because I don't want to do it. And it's like with the GTA example I gave before, it's not because it's too hard, because it's doable. Like, I do it. It's... I'll... I get through it. It's just not fun, <laughs> is the thing. So I compare it... I always like compare this kind of stuff to Dark Souls and like Bloodborne, which we do need to fucking get back to Bloodborne at some point as well. So I've been aching to play that again, but I kind of... I've got that stream that we're like midway through the game on. And I really want to get back to it because I really enjoy playing it. It's just I'm not not a time to stream in general. Um, I've been enjoying the Skyrim streams a lot, so I've been kind of focusing on them. That's kind of the thing about these streams. I mean, you can probably see yourself. Uh, nobody is watching this right now. I'm pretty much just talking to myself. But I don't do this to build an audience and make this my career. Not that I have disdain for it as a career because it is hard, and respect to people who can who can do it like that. I don't think I ever could, um, but that's not my goal. 
with these with these streams at all. I'm not going for that as a. I don't think he's satisfied. You well fed yet, dude? I'm eating, and it's the fucking cold meter that I'm trying to knock down. Sorry, I'm distracted with talking. Then, um, but yeah, I'm not doing this because of like oh, I want to. I want to like because there's not the goal that I want to go for. Like it's just something I do as supplementary to the stuff I do want to do. Um, as a goal, which is to make a living as a writer. This is just uh, it's a way of expanding my usual audience. If people want to watch it, they can, kind of thing. But what was the point there? Yeah. Um, something about nobody's list. No, nobody's watching it anyway. So I don't know why I'm. Let me see. Retrace my fucking train of thoughts. I got distracted by a lot of stuff then. Uh, yeah, I... Uh, something about... Yeah, the Winterhold questline. I don't... Yeah, I keep talking as if people are going to say, like, I want to see that on, like, post some comments or something. I don't expect people to. If someone does, that's why it's so, it would be so, if someone said, I really want to see you do the Winterhold stuff, I'll do it, because I don't have that many people in my audience, and if someone in my audience wants to see it, I want to do what they want to do, <clears throat> is what I'm trying to say. I got sidetracked with a bunch of stuff. Anyway, Indeed. Septimus Cygnus. We're going down with the Cygnus. Heard you're a man who knows how about how to get. Oh, that fucked that up. Indeed. I was doing a Shawshank Redemption the thing. Empire. It didn't work. They absconded with them. Or so they think. The ones they saw. <laughs> the ones they thought they saw. I know of one. Sorry, I should put this pen oh, away. Adam. I keep clicking it. Sequestered. But I cannot go to it. Not poor Septimus. For I. I have arisen beyond its grasp. Are you okay, oh, buddy? I am well. <laughs> I will be well. Well to be within the will inside the walls. So where's the scroll? Here. Well, here as in this place. You had us go in there, Septimus Cygnus. Nearby, relatively speaking. <laughs> On the cosmological scale, well, it's all nearby. Uh, can you help me get the Elder Scroll or not? They're both the other, angry responses. Septimus I don't want to be that want. guy. I don't want to be an angry what person with Septimus. Something in return. What do you want? You see this masterwork of the Dwemer deep inside their greatest oh, that thing. knowings. Septimus is clever among men. But he is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. Lucky then they left behind their own way of reading the Elder Scrolls. In the depths of Black Reach, one yet lies. Black Reach. Have you heard of Black Reach? Cast upon where Drimmer City slept, the yearning spire hidden learnings kept. <laughs> this is a Beast of a mission. This is a long haul mission, and I kind of want to do it. You know, deep, I want to do it today. The hidden key, Tower Mazark. Of hand, the point of puncture, a first entry of the tapping. Delve to its limits, and Black Reach lies just beyond. But not all can enter there. Only Septimus knows the hidden key to loose the lock to jump beneath the deathly rock. That rhymes, and you know it rhymes. Two things I have for you. Two shapes. One edged. One, one friend-shaped. The round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft and subtle, and needed to open their cleverest gates. The edged lexicon. Or inscribing to us a hunk of metal, to the Dwemer, a full library of knowings, but empty. 
Find Mazark and its Sky Dome. The machinations there will read the scroll and lay the law upon the cube. Just Septimus. He knows you can know. Whoa! <laughs> Here's some stuff. Bonk! <coughs> oh. Um, what do I do with this sphere? The deepest doors of river <laughs> listen for singing. It plays the attitude of notes proper for opening. Can you not hear it? Too low for hearings? So the To glimpse the world inside an elder scroll can damage the eyes or the mind as it has to Septimus. The Dwemer found a loophole as they always do. To focus the knowledge away and inside without harm. Place the lexicon into their contraption and focus the knowings into it. When it brims with glow, bring it back and Septimus can read what's I forget wrong. to do this every single time. <laughs> well, I say every single time, it's like it's the optional thing. You put the cube into the machine that you use. Um, but then you've got to pick the cube back up again. I never pick the... Excuse me. Pick the cube back up. So it just sits there for a huge part of the game. Um, it would make sense for Big Hungry Joe to ask what an Elder Scroll is. Okay. You look to your right, okay. you see another. But neither is any harder than the opposite. I don't know. Le looking left is quite hard because of the way the camera is set up. Left and right in the stream of time. Uh, the future and past are as one. Sometimes they even look up. What do they see then? What if they dive in? Just uh, upscare it myself. The madness begins. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, madness. This way, madness lies. I'm going to, because it's relatively warm in here, or at least I'm not getting any colder. I am going to take a quick, very quick, like five minute break. Um, I'm just going to quickly leave a note in the chat in case anyone decides now is the time they want to start watching. Um, uh, Taking a five minute break for peeings. And that goes in the chat. Goes in the chat. Why is it not going in the chat? What? Huh. Do I need to put a full stop at the end? Why isn't my chat working? Hold well on. I'm gonna refresh this and okay, here we go. I think it only loaded part of the fucking stream there. Hope the hope the hope to fucking god that stream was still running that entire fucking time. But I've been watching it, so it should have been. Um, uh, taking a minute, four beings. There we go. In the. And I just got a. I get excited because I think, oh, someone's watching it. No, they're not. <laughs> That's just me getting my own message. Uh, mm. I kind of want to put a thing in uh, the social medias about it, just in case someone does come into the stream and it's like, why is he just standing there looking at that wall? But you'll see that if you get to Twitch anyway, so... Anyway, yes, I will be back shortly. There goes my back. <coughs> right.
There's like a loose, well I say a loose floorboard, there's like a floorboard in my room that's slightly, has slightly more wood than the one next to it. Every time I like shove my foot along, I catch it on like, on that one little fucking floorboard. <clears throat> you don't need to know that, but that's just why I said, ow, um, what are we doing? Um, we have beer, we have water. This is why, like, I think I get more drunk when I um, when I go out to like pubs and stuff because when I drink at home, I chase almost every single like sip of beer with like water, so I'm constantly hydrating myself. So I just the 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 net effect is I just don't get drunk. <laughs> Just get slight, just maintain like a slight buzz. Whereas, like, I went on a pub crawl a couple of weeks ago and was fucking destroyed. Like, I very, it's very rare for me to, um. Where are we going? Because I need to check this before I start just riding off. Okay, we can go through, we have to stop at Winterhold. So we gotta go here. Okay. Yeah, pub crawl. Like I very rarely throw up from drinking. Like um, I think because I know like I know when I start to get to that point. I ha generally the way I'm like physically put together. I have enough time to say okay. It's starting to it's starting to make me feel a bit ill. I can take myself away. The pub crawl, I kind of couldn't because um, we were trying to do like 22 pubs in one day, so we had to like drink and move, drink and move, drink and move. It, like, I f it's, you can follow the whole thing on my Twitter account, which is twitter.com. Oh, undead, 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 undead. I'll tell you later. Hold on, I have I have something for this. Don't you fucking do it, Shadow Mayor, I swear to fucking god. Um What's the next undead? There he is! Let me get him, Shadow Mayor, don't you fucking do it! Don't you fucking do it! Don't you fucking do it, pal! I swear to god, hey! <laughs> we did it. Um Yeah, my Twitter is twitter.com or x.com uh, slash Galitha Matt. It's, oh fuck, okay, hold on. I've got another one, one of these. Dang it. Let me use the scroll. Ah, bastard. Oh! Oh, 
we gotta go to Chicago and can we ride the horse? Well oh, he's gonna Oh this is gonna head the horse. Let's just uh, let it run itself out. Sorry, sorry Shadow Mayor, I'll leave you alone. I mean, it's a good spell. <laughs> Can give you that much, uh, Jizargo. <laughs> um, yeah, twitter.com forward slash Galitha Matt, G A double -L, L A E T H A underscore Matt with two T's. I am currently fucking blind. Um, Yeah, if you look through my, like, recent pictures on there, you'll see, like, we stopped at, like, a lot of pubs, um, and it was good, and then we finished, and then we were like, oh, let's have, like, one more here, let's just have one more, and we stayed a bit longer than we should have done, and I got caught up and threw up, and it was not good. <laughs> Even though, like, my, um, my inner, like, my, you know, my body was saying don't drink anymore but I kept getting talked into I know he walked I'm gonna walk off the edge of this cliff I think Let's try and ease our way backwards there we go yeah uh, this is this is a horrible place to be let's not be here anymore <clears throat> um this is just a horrible place to be in general I don't want to be here <laughs> This is why we hate Winter Hold, because it's very difficult to see what's happening. <clears throat> yeah, I was mortified by it, because I just don't... Never do that. Damn it! Don't have my sword equipped. For fuck's sake. <clears throat> so let that be a lesson to you. If you are on a pub crawl, Make sure you eat. That's important. Don't be tricked into the whole eating is cheating thing. Even though I didn't, I just didn't. Uh, I joined slightly later than everyone else, so I didn't get to eat when they did. And we were moving too quickly to eat when I had already joined. That's a bad idea. Do, do not fucking do that. <laughs> if you go on a fog crawl, make sure you eat first. See, part of this is like, when you're cold, it makes everything blue, and yeah, this, as I mentioned, I am fucking colorblind, so this right now, kind of, it's, I can see me, kind of, everything else, see, I couldn't see that guy until he moved, um, I'm literally just using the, um, like, the little map bar to follow the arrow, but I cannot really see the road in front of me. And I'm progressively getting colder, because I have got... I do have some items that can make it less cold, but they're, like, single use, and I'm loath to use them unless I am absolutely desperate. That's a wall. You can kind of see that. So I think we go this way and then find the nearest up that we can get to. <gasps> that looks like an up. Unless it's a wall. No, we can go up there. I'm going to quick save because that's well, a bit better. I can kind of see that. And the combination of like the snow drifting across and the uh, blue of being freezing um, just makes it really uh, difficult to see where I'm going. <clears throat> I'm not 100% sure if, like I kind of want to get to Gizargo. But if I fucking stop so we're here anyway. See, 
treacherously cold, so I'm just like, when you move, you just like, you slowed down. This is how like the cold is insidious in survival mode. It's the, it's, everything else can be mitigated, but cold weather is a ball ache to deal with. <clears throat> See, if I didn't have that torch open, I'd have lost heat a lot faster. Let's get, get myself warm. I think spend the night here Listen, rather than hear any loud noise. <coughs> <coughs> rather than risking it. Excuse me. Come on, warm up. This is why it takes. This is why the cold's bad. Cause it takes so long to warm up, even with stand in the fire just to get warm. Oh, certainly. I hope not. That would be quite unfortunate for my research. There we go. A little bit warmer. <clears throat> Literally standing in fire. It's not warm enough to get me warm. That's why the cold weather is a fucking nightmare in this survival mode. <laughs> Come on. Just, uh... Hold on, have I caught a disease or something? See, so peckish, stamina is reduced, and my attacks are less effective. <clears throat> and I'm bad with shields and sneaking. Magicka, we can kind of live without because we don't really use much of it. Um, but yeah. Total health reduced, move slower, lock picking's harder. I understand Irid's been playing Hunt the Elf again. Really taking a long time to recover. <laughs> I don't want Irid playing those sorts of games. Alright, alright, I'll speak to her. There we go, a little bit more. Went up a bit then. You know, I think this might be a time to sleep for the night. <laughs> Hopefully that'll warm me up a bit. If there's anything... Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Uh... See, I kind of wish... I'll show you to your room. Right that... There. Alcohol... Or any kind of, like, mead or... Wine... Made your warmth go up because that would give you a use for carrying lots of meat around <clears throat> yeah, let's call it it's probably gonna take us a while to fight our way up the to winter hold I say to winter hold I mean the college of winter hold should just call it the college oh god I'm still oh no there we go it's how fucking insidious cold weather is, man. You get into... So I have one, like, one item, I think. That's the only item I've got, the hot potato soup, that will give me a... Temporarily boost my warmth. But it's a temporary boost, and they... These items, they are hard to make. They're hard to get hold of the ingredients for them. So they're worth just keeping to the very last minute. Let's eat the hawker loaf. That's the heaviest thing I've got, I think. And the catfish is quite heavy too. My days at the oh, there we go. Back to fully back to normal. Yeah, when you get like uh, when you get cold, it's let's see, treacherously cold. I'm in my cold weather gear. I think I should be able to run up there. <clears throat> Give my little report to Jizargo about his experiment. Dump these fucking spell scrolls, because they are... <coughs> <coughs> fucking heavy. Yeah, the... Yeah, I forget how fucking horrible the cold effects are in this game. Go 
Because not only does it make you... Make your health go down, it also, like, makes you slower. So it makes you less likely to get to a... Are you... Jizargo? I you're... need your help with something. something no. Private. I'm in the middle of one fucking thing for you people. Can you not fucking let me do that? I only did that on stuff. There you are. I hear you found some thing inside. Scrolls have been tested. Were they magnificent? To be fair, they were fucking good. Were these explosive plugs? They exploded. Uh, no. Uh, that was not supposed to happen. But Jezargo is pleased to see that you are here and not in pieces. You are a good friend to have done this. Jezargo will not forget it. He's a good companion to have because you can get him to follow you. If I didn't. If I wasn't relying on the horse so much, I would be tempted to, because he's good. Because he, um... Next time. Because, like, every follower that you have in this game has, like, a... Has a level cap. So, it's, at a certain point, they become obsolete. I understand you're the one that found this... Orb don't talk to you. I don't really talk to you very much. Well, you're certainly making a name for yourself. Uh, I'm awesome. Uh, I want to speak to the... Thieves Guild fence if he is here. I don't know if he's in this one or the next one. No, you're not him. It's in the next one. Fuck it. I not that desperate the for the fence. <clears throat> Are you him? No. If you have a moment, oh god, again? It never stops with you people. At least something good came out of that trip to Sarthal. I didn't find anything. <clears throat> There you are, you motherfucker. Right, uh hood for the better prices. Social call. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Here we go. Um <clears throat> Don't need any of them, so you can have all of them. <laughs> um those and then these and you can have them, all of those. But again, these don't weigh very much, but I've got a lot of them, so eventually they are going to start dragging my carry weight down. I may as well deal with them now. Did I pick up any potions I don't want? These are all stuff I will use. Any weapons I won't need. Any stuff. No, I think we're okay. And put my cold weather thing on in. You might be fucking so boy. Did Delvin send you again, or are you here on How's business? Business, business is actually inconsequential <laughs> to me. I share little of your lust for coin. However, All right, I promised, fucking I'll up. still be more than happy to take any stolen merchandise off your hands. It's fucking cold here, man. I was Carmine. being nice. And fucking be a dick about it. <clears throat> I care little for your lust for coin. <laughs> fucking gobshite. I was just thinking, you know, I've not spoke, to, I've not used him as a fence for a while, but you know, check out what a, uh, how's it going? You know, check in on my fucking people in the thieves guild that I'm part of, trying to be a good boss, you know, see if there's anything I could fucking do to make his experience a bit better. But no, fuck you then. <laughs> fucking bellend. Am I even going the right way here? No, I should be... You know what? I should have gone through Sartho. Let's go back to where we came. So mad at that fucking... <laughs> like, every other Thieves Guild fence you speak to is like, Oh, this has been great since I've joined up with the Thieves Guild. I'm making more money. I'm a lot happier. Uh, thanks for all your help. And this guy's like... Meh, 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 meh. What a cunt. I 
That's not even like if he'd have said like, um, oh, business is bad. You know, like I'm just thinking like in role playing terms more than like in. If he said something like, oh, business is bad, I would have been, okay, cool. How can we help with that? Would have been my response. It's not even that. It's not even saying business is bad. It's that I don't care. And you're a dick for asking. You're a fucking greedy cunt. What's going on here? I don't want to fight anybody. I just want to keep going. Because I'm getting tired of stopping to fight every couple of minutes. Because, yeah, again, like... It makes me prioritize my my own time because just how long it takes to get anywhere so I don't really want to stop every couple of feet to fight stuff <clears throat> especially when we know I'm going to a fucking huge dungeon oh well I say that but oh god this is a nightmare I don't want I'll leave you guys to it Every single one of those people would kill me if I gave them half a chance to. And I am running out of torches. I think, ironically, once we get... Because this is like a cold weather dungeon. But once we're inside a dungeon, you don't get as much like heat loss. I don't think... In general, you'd get any, but I might be wrong with that. And I did just fucking realize something horrible. This quest ends at a different part of the map. Oh well. We've managed to secure the site and hold off any others who may try to steal our discoveries so far, especially those from the College of Winterhold who seem to think that the glory of exploring every ruin should be theirs alone. The crew for our expedition is as follows. Sulla Trebatius, myself, expedition leader. Umana, my constant companion and bodyguard. Vali, a mage not associated with Winterhold, took some time to find. Endrast, a fellow explorer of some local renown. Yag, a great brute of a woman hired to keep the rest of the labor in check. Jadar and Jizar, two Khajiit brothers hired as labor. Need a, more, need a couple more laborers getting through the ice, proving difficult. We've set up shelter and scouted the area. The ru small ruins on the lower plateau of the glacier don't seem connected to the main structure, and we haven't managed to find a way into the tower parapet we found here. Yag mentioned spotting a fissure in the glacial wall that may lead to the ruins, so we are going to try to find a way to get down there with the gear. Looks like a storm is coming. I should not have taken that. That's carry weight I could do without. Oh well. <clears throat> Let's pick a lock. Not done this this stream yet, weirdly. In fact, I don't think we've done a dungeon. <laughs> oh, Shadow here, mate. I'm sorry. I will come back to you. I will take a carriage at some point and I'll get you back, but... It's the last we'll see a shadow here for a short while. Oh man. That's depressing that. I fucking It's been our constant companion this entire time. I'm gonna leave her behind up here for Cause yeah, you it's kind of a bit of a spoiler, but at the end of this mission you are in a different part of the map entirely. And in the main game, or the regular game, you can just go, cool, I just fast travel to the nearest place. Then, it's like... It's like, shit, you can't do that. <laughs> so... The horse will just remain here for... Until I get a carriage somewhere else. Poor Shadow Mayor. I think, are we... In a dungeon at the moment. It's still fucking cold though. Um, uh, 
See if I was playing the um you know I'm gonna put the torch down, see if this helps at all. Cause we are entering into a dungeon. Not that we need muffle anymore, because we have the um the uh the stealth feet that we need that gives us muffle all the time. But it gives us a little boost to our in illusion and it also helps a little bit with our stealth. So it's not essential, but it's just giving us a bit of a extra help level enough more than anything else. Well, I know you were trying to keep it for yourself, Jizar. You always try to keep it for yourself. Jizar, he's one of the laborers. Yeah, in the main game, you just hoover up all the uh, Dwemer metal you can get because you can make like you can just boost your uh, uh, blacksmith and insanely quickly with it. In the survival mode, you do not want to fucking touch the stuff. It's heavy, and we need the as much weight as we can get. Research notes. If only Umani would have left one of those dwarven machine creatures intact for me to study. The fact that they almost killed those Khajiit brothers in the middle of the night doesn't doesn't mean we couldn't have found a way to disable one. We dragged some stuff in front of the pipes they came out of to stop them from coming back. So don't move that stuff away from the pipes. They are simply fascinating. It is just as Calselmo described in Dwarves' version of Volume 2. Their appearance does, in fact, resemble that of an arachnid. I had thought that to be an embellishment given by his source. The inclusion of the soul gem into the design of the apparatus is quite remarkable. It could explain the focus for the lightning that it describes. Oddly enough, it doesn't appear to be the main power source for the apparatus, perhaps some sort of harmonic resonance with the energies contained in the soul gem to bring the heat to a small boiler. Too early to say conclusively. That does raise the question of where they get the liquid for the boiler, however. Huh, that was strange. I thought, why would you write huh in your own diary? I thought I just saw something moving beyond the barred door. It looked vaguely humanoid. I wonder if it could be an undiscovered automaton. I'm going to move my bedroll down here to see if I can catch another glimpse of it. This is all so exciting. And what we find is blood. Cool. Like, <laughs> just fucking blood everywhere. Oh. <laughs> Too stealthy, mate. Too fucking stealthy. Um. Oh, torch. <laughs> fucking, like, in the regular game, just kind of a thing that's fun to have. Desperately need them in survival mode, though. Ooh, another one. Ooh, two of them. This does feel progressively like I'm being led into a trap. Especially with all the gold being fucking laid out there like that. <laughs> oh, what's that? And a healing potion? <laughs> oh, this is if you were trying to lure a fucking adventurer into your trap, you'd absolutely just lay out a bunch of fucking uh, healing potions, gold coins, and uh <laughs> and this in my case fucking torches. Just to trick them into following it. Who is this brother? Another of the smooth schemes looking for food? This one doesn't talk to us. Hi. 
My name is Big Hungry Joe, and oh god. <coughs> nope. I don't think we'll be allowing that to happen. Um. Channel. This one is at his. I'm not doing a squishy accent. I can't do it. This one is at his wits end. I signed Jazar and myself up for this expedition to try and get him clean of the skooma. I brought him a small supply to try and bring him down slowly. But the storm was at us trapped in the glacier for weeks. The others have not yet caught on that one of with fire should not shake so much from the cold. But I've run out of the skooma. I brought and Jazar is getting pretty bad. He started hallucinating creatures coming out of the ice and in the ruins. The others are starting to think he may be behind Valise's disappearance, but I know he would never do something like that. <clears throat> I'll take the strength filter as well. Muffle again, so I feel like that's going to run out. The man is general. It's been about a week since the Lee went missing, and now Endrast is gone too. We found blood leading over to the barred off doorway, but Sola seems to think that they've found a way through and that they are trying to cut him out of the discovery. He keeps saying that we need to press on. We've managed to we've manage we've managed to break through into another section of the ruins, the Animunculori, where the dwarves produced their automatons. We learn the hard way that the metal creatures are still alive in there and it hasn't improved Yag's mood at all. She holds that the Khajiit brothers aren't involved with the disappearances and has been keeping a hard eye on Sola. But rations have all but run out and we are going to have to decide soon whether to brave the storm or try to push further th into the ruins. I don't know if the echoes of screams I've heard in my sleep are those of our missing comrades or my own nightmares. So things have been getting fucking tense. Like the fire at a circus, it's getting intense. But dump dump. So here's a fun thing that I can do with my build. Ah, oh, thought I could, uh, thought I'd get them both. Oh shit! Not quite. <clears throat> Excuse me again, that was completely fucking unrestrained. Don't know why I didn't fucking try and bear without the side of my mouth like I normally do, but. It got gross. Come on, it's gotta get warmer soon, so I'll put my decent armor on. So I'm now comfortable, that's good to know. It did not go very well at all. Just take all this stuff except for those, those are heavy. Take those. 
close those, leave all the armor behind. See, this is why I like the... I think I mention this every time, but I... As part of the Thieves Guild quest, I picked up a ability that makes me find more gems around. <clears throat> and people say, oh, that's a useless ability, but in survival mode, it's really fucking good for just getting a lot of money. Like, it's one of the few things you can, like, comfortably pick up. Because they don't weigh that much. And they also have a lot of value. Trying not to pick up too many soul gems because, um, fuck it, I'll pick one up. Um, again, they they have like carry weight to them, so I'm only trying to take the full ones because they can be used in enchanting. But I may as well, fucking. Uh, At least grab a couple of those like empty ones just in case. So I'm not making much sense right now, I'm just kinda I'm in dungeon mode. But yeah, I never, like, I have the ability to, um, I've got a, a dagger that not that puts soul trap on things. So I have the ability to fill those soul gems up if I, if I want to. But it's just an extra little thing I've got to do, and I'm already doing a lot of, like, micromanaging with this, uh, type of build anyway. For some reason I thought that was a coin purse, but no. Peckish, let's eat. Oh, catfish. This is a long dungeon, and we are coming up to a... It connects into the longest dungeon in the entire game. Which we don't have to explore all of it. We just have to do a small portion of it. People who've played Skyrim before know what's coming. <laughs> and... If you are one of those people, I'll put your mind at ease. I will not be doing the um, that quest on stream unless it's unless it's kind of a um, uh, like a special or something. Uh, I'll do it, which will just be like that. Like maybe I'll do like a like a charity stream or something where I try and find all the things in one thing. But rest assured, I will not be doing that on. Because these streams are kind of... I'm trying to do... Because I started off, I did the Thieves Guild quest line, then the, the Dark Brotherhood. So I'm trying to do, like... Um, like, story stuff, you know? I'm not trying to do... Everything in the game, because that'd be... We'd be I'd just I'd never stream anything else. And as much as I enjoy uh, the Skyrim streams, I just don't want to do them forever, you know. I mean, the plan was I'll do like the main quest and then leave it for a bit and do something else. And 
potentially come back and do Dawn because uh, I've done Dawn Guard already and on a different stream but it's available you know I don't want to go back and repeat myself um, the other one uh, Dragonborn I'll do the Dragonborn DLC stuff later unless people want to see more Skyrim and in which case you'll have to let me know because I just do what I feel is the most fun at the moment this is absolutely a lot of fun I am having a lot of fun today and I tend to have a lot of fun with these streams in general the moment I stop having fun I go on to something else I also want to keep things fresh and interesting for people who you know play a variety of things to just get more people in you know my audience I was thinking of doing after this I mean I do want to go back to Bloodborne but that's like not uh, uh, how do I explain it that kind of feels like something I do on top of other stuff because of just how intensive it is I say obviously unless people that's what you want to see in which case again you got to let me know because I just do what I think is going to be fun as much as I enjoy Bloodborne, it's kind of its own... is an undertaking to get to. So it's not something I want to do as the main stream of the week. But yeah, I was thinking of doing the Outer Worlds. Because I have been meaning to replay that for a long time. So I thought, why not give it a go on stream? Rapidly, oh, I'm not doing a fucking master lock. I'm rapidly coming up to how much I can carry. <laughs> so you know what? I'm gonna put on my this stuff and this. That gives me a bit more carry weight, and also it's better armor rating. Do you have a journal as well? Feels like this is where it would be. Can't see it though. Hmm. Could have sworn she had a journal as well, but maybe I'm just misremembering. That's not the way down. Trying not to pick. I'm just kind of going every other soul gem that, that I see. I grab. Oh, there is a torch here, though. That's going to come in handy. Um, yeah, it seems like if I move the body, maybe is it underneath her? Oh well, 
I must just be misremembered. It's like a swan. There's like a journal that tells you how she um, how she ju jumped down there to try and uh, hold off the farmer while everyone else escaped, and basically died a hero. But I don't know if it's in that journal or there's a journal coming up that tells you about it. Now, if you remember, she was the one who was in charge of uh, managing the labor. So she wasn't even the bodyguard, she was just like a, a job foreman basically, and she was like a four person. And she's like, fuck, we're getting overrun, so one of us is have to, gonna have to roll the hard six, and she just fucking bought it, didn't even hesitate. Absolute fucking badass, but you know. Never even can't even tell you that in her own words. It's a shame. You may notice how I can sneak up on the farmer really easily, and that is because they're blind. And it's it's quite a cool little thing because I'm not taking that. Um, that you can sneak up on them really easily but they also hear you better than anyone else and it's mechanically represented in the game so like coming in here as a stealth character is going to make it slightly easier for us and again I think this is something I've explained before because this is not the first time we've dealt with Farmer on the stream just again just Playing it again for people who may not have seen previous streams and maybe like, what the hell is that thing? How are you able to just walk right up to it and kill it? They're also kind of terrible. Like the, I don't feel too bad about killing the farmer because they are dickheads and you will see shortly evidence of that dickheadedness if you haven't already been watching the stream and know that we've come across farmer dungeons before and they're always fucking proving how shitty of people they actually are And also, we don't need money, really. Like, oh, we have like the amount that we have, we could just spend and spend and spend and spend and spend and just never see the end of it. We're essentially billion. I'm essentially a billionaire in this world. But even though I'm a member of the Dark Brotherhood, I'm slightly more moral than actual billionaires in the real world. because they are pretty decent arrows. Um, nothing much in there that I can use, but I'll take it anyway. I do apologise that I'm not being quite as talkative as I normally am. Just in dungeons, I kind of got to keep my wits about me in case I bumble into a trap. Not that it'll do terribly much at this level, but it's kind of... Uh... When you're dealing with farmer, you might have to deal with diseases and stuff as well. And that I do not want. Okay, this is going to come up. Ah, oh, cold magic. Shit. Oh, that's the one thing we didn't want. The one thing we didn't want to happen. But we did it. We got there in the end. Any 
Here's Vali. Who went to the fucking Gazo? How exciting! A new type of uh, Fulmar Automaton. And got dragged down here and tortured to death. The Fulmar. What a bunch of bastards. <laughs> and it wasn't like they wanted anything either. It's just killing for the sake of killing. Or like torture for the sake of torture, I mean. They had like a scroll of cure wound, so they were like torturing her and then healing her and doing it all over again, so fucking the worst kind of fucking torture imaginable. It's a deeply unpleasant bunch of people. Okay, that leads to because the reason why I'm checking all the doors is because I know this is a shortcut. So in case we needed to pop out, if we did have fast travel, pop out, sell some gear, come back, um, this is an option. But we don't have that option in the survival mode. See, it kind of leads back here. So that's... Uh, it's worth doing just in case we need a we need a quick exit later on. Oh, I don't like that noise. I don't know if you can hear that in. Don't know if you could hear that on the stream, but it kind of just went uh, skippy then, like it was about to crash. But I'm gonna quickly. Quickly save and a quick save uh, just to be on the safe side because that felt a bit like it was about to crash on me. I am also. If they have. I don't think I need it, I won't need it. Um, you're saying I've started to become tired? In. That sounds fucking a uh, very wordy way of saying that. Big Hungry Joe is experiencing the effect of fatigue at the moment, which doesn't mean that much because we don't use a, we don't use a great deal of magic. But after a while, it is going to start to affect the magic that we do use, such as it is. You can get get fucked, actually. Is it the ebony dagger that I have that lets me do soul trap? Let me take a quick look. That's the one I need, okay. Oh shit, okay. There's another one here, yeah, there he is. Maybe I'll fill up some of those soul gems while I have them, you know? Because we're not doing a great deal with enchantment yet, but it's a good... It's... It's the most powerful ability in the whole game. I think, like, no question. It's just... That's kind of the, um... It kind of, like... Not breaks the game, but you can kind of really change how much damage gear does and how much it protects you and stuff. So you can basically between that and blacksmithing you can just knock all your stuff right to the fucking moon um, and just have like one hit kills on everything which is fun if you want to do that. And I have played uh, playthroughs like that. I don't personally enjoy it that much because it's a lot of uh, legwork to reach it, reach that point, and by that point, you're basically doing all the boring shit to get to make the fun stuff go faster. If that makes sense. So you're essentially doing AI <laughs> or like what or long uh, large learning models <laughs> in uh, in Skyrim. Having the computer do all the fun stuff while you do the tedious backbreaking labor. 
which I do not play a fantasy game to do that. I am already living that dystopia right fucking now. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, you bellend. Fuck the game. Got away with that. Nearly fucked that up. Oh! <laughs> Did I level something up then? I felt like it. I think one of my abilities went up then. I heard like the da dun noise, but I don't know which one it was. Either way, that was very satisfying. Excuse me, fuck. Ooh. My muffle ran out. I think I'll need to go through that quick select at some point and just uh, make sure I am using all this stuff because a lot of this, a lot of these things are situational that I just keep on just in case. But you can clearly see I'm only using one or two of these things. Here then. Is this. Ah! <clears throat> That's how we get through there. Shit. It's trouble. You know what? I'm gonna get a heavy hit on him. <laughs> that casting of invisibility made me peckish. Uh, have you? And that obviously is important. I think you're the villain of the piece, Sola. So get fucked. It's okay. I saved your life. I'm going to enjoy this. Why? Why are you going to enjoy this? But look, I'm gonna put my sword away. Wait, no reason for us. Oh, okay, it never works, but I always try. I, I can assure you, I never thought that. Oop, fuck. We done? Can I save your life at least? Look, I don't want to kill you, but I will. I know, just end. Just don't, you don't have to fucking fight. I know she does, because it's programmed in, but... It's kind of a mistake on Bethesda's part, because... Uh... I mean... It's heavy armor, though. I'm not proficient, that proficient in heavy armor. On a 
on a piece of light armor, that would be... I'd take that. And I'd enchant it with what I needed later. But, because it's heavy, that'll slow me down. But yeah, the, the whole story is that he got greedy. And she's trying to talk him out of him. Going, no, you don't have to be greedy. You can just... We can just go home. It's fine. I know we lost our, all of our friends. We can start again. So, there's like... You know, she does nothing wrong. There's no reason why she should attack you as well. Um, but she does. It's just kind of programmed into the AI. Not much you can really do about that. It's a shame that... I'm sure modders have fixed it. See this... This shadow mirror there, in case we need to... Um, in case we need to come back... But I know we're not going there, are we? We were given two shapes. One of them friend shape, so let's use one of those. See, they never had the shape to get in there. So... They would never have found this ever. If they'd have stayed here for a million years, they'd have just never got there because the key was all the way on the other side of the map. Well, I think all the way. It's, it's close. But, you know, it was with Septimus, is my point. <clears throat> here we are. Blackreach. Long-term Skyrim players, I apologize for the cold sweat on the backs of your necks right now. And, like, the feeling of empty dread in your stomachs. I know what's here, and I can assure you we won't be touching it. This playthrough. Oh, this, this playthrough, we'll probably get to it. But not this particular stream. Maybe another stream coming up. It will be specifically... It'll be a stream specifically for this quest, if we do it. Because it's a long, long quest. Not much of a reward to it. Um, I say long-term Skyrim players are going to know what that is already, but let's clue in the people who maybe haven't played the game before. And... Take that first. Up. I'll put that in my. <laughs> so discover the significance of the. You know what? I'll leave those there. I could, in theory, let's see what we can do with. Ah. Uh... No, I mean, you know what? I'm not going to use that. Let's fucking just get rid of it. Uh, do we have any? We have these. We have a bunch of fucking things we can enchant. So let's do that. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, sorry about that. I try hard to not fucking bear on stream. Work our way through our enchantments. <clears throat> this will at least mean we're not carrying as much stuff. It'll help us to level up. And we'll make some money out of it too. Do you have a... Aha, here you are. So yeah. Shit, I should have read that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sindarion's Field Journal. Oh, we need to ditch some of these books, I think. That's going to be why, it, why our carry weight's so so huge. Uh, spent a lot... Oh, I'm not reading it all, but this is Sindarion. He uh, was in Oblivion. If you played that, 
he was obsessed with Nernroot, and his job was to help you cultivate more of it. Um, so, he survived this long. He came down here looking for a new species of Nernroot that he'd heard about. Uh, that was the, that crimson one I picked up there. Uh, so, he f came here and just got fucking wrecked by Blackreach. Just the... Is a dangerous place, and he was just a, he's just an academic. He had no way to protect himself, and he died horribly. But all of that was like, and the quest is you've got to find thirty samples of crimson nern root within this dungeon, which is fucking huge, by the way. You can see part of it. I'll be showing you part of it. I won't be sh won't be going near all of it. It's just we'll grab any crimson nine root we see, but I'm not going to be attempting the quest. Do not worry about that because I know it's a long haul. See, there's one there. See, take that. So there's definitely there's definitely more than thirty within. Um, within this dungeon. It's d it, um, oh fucking hell! That guy came out of nowhere. It is eminently doable, which is the phrase we used a lot during our Dark Souls playthrough. <laughs> this tells you how fucking how much of a bit of a Sisyphean mission this one actually is. So we're not here to fight if we can help it. Although I'll grab that crimson nern root while it's here. So I'll get you. It's deceptively, you think, oh, is this, they're cl grouped quite close together. This will be easy. They're not. They are scattered. And I, and there's like, I think I read there's something like a hundred or so within Blackreach. So it's not like it's impossible. It's not like there there's only thirty and no more. There's a bunch of them. It's just the dungeon is so huge and they're so spread out. It just takes a while to do. You've got to just comb through every inch of the place. Which, if you are... There's a lot of cool lore to discover within Blackreach. So it is, in its own way, quite fun. And exploring the place that in-depth is a good way to get to know the place and learn what's here. But for what we need, all we need to do is follow the arrow to where we're going. Just treat this like any other dungeon. Go slow, stealthy, meticulously pick our path through. I was gonna rest in Sindarian's room and I didn't <laughs> realize that then. But it's fine. Everything's fine, nothing is ruined. We're not relying on our magic so much, so it won't be too much of a, tr of a problem. Another one. <clears throat> Everything is totally fine, like it's a relatively easy path to get to where we're going. Like we don't see and like it's not like there's any huge, horrible boss down here. If there was, it would make the place cooler, frankly. Um, what makes it quite so infamous is it's Farmer that you're dealing with pretty much all the way through. And Farmer, as we've seen, are... They're not terribly interesting as a... I mean, lore-wise, they're interesting, and they look pretty freaky like the first time that you come across them. It's like, ooh, that's interesting. And then, yeah, they're just guys after that place. They're just like bandits with a different uh, different design. And, yeah, like, as fun as any other fighters in Skyrim. It's not like there's... This is nothing special about it. This is, and there's a lot of them down here. 
Um, it's a whole... I'm going down here because I definitely remember that there is a crimson nern root at the bottom of this tower. And again, I'm just doing this to make the inevitable crimson nern root stream a bit less painful. This is where we're trying to get to. There is a whole mini dungeon over there with its own dragon fight. There's a giant fight somewhere off in that direction. So when I say there's no like mega cool boss, there are there's like a couple of boss monsters, but they are things we've dealt with before. They're not, um, I say there's a couple of boss monsters. There are two. <laughs> there are those two that I mentioned: a dragon and a giant. Which it's cool, I guess, but not terribly interesting. Not nothing we can't find on the surface. What this place, why this place is cool is because it looks cool, the design of it's amazing, it's a beautiful place to explore. It's just, there's a lot of it to get through, <laughs> and we shan't be doing it on this stream. I keep finding these skill books I've already found in other places. So I'm going to try and remember to do the cube. And that may, will mean nothing to people who haven't played the game before, but those who have, you understand that it's a real easy thing to forget. So I'm going to try and tell a story or something weird. So I don't need to sneak anymore. Something, I don't know. I've got to put the cube in here. And this puzzle isn't terribly hard. We are pretty much just pushing these buttons until another button appears. It's not... There we go. Um, you can fuck that up and I have fucked that up um, if you overthink it and you're like oh shit I'm going to press this and this and this and this and this um, all you're doing is that does nothing that's like a go back button you hit that until that appears then you hit that until that appears <clears throat> nothing too complicated that's been inscribed now so take the cube and give that to seconds okay we've done that part because it's so easy to forget that and have to come back later on when you need Septimus for something else. We have an Elder Scroll, people. If you're watching on YouTube, who I think are the only people watching, uh, like Spike for the Elder Scroll. <laughs> uh, if you are watching on Twitch and I don't know about it, please say so in the comments. <laughs> So lonely. Uh, who's this guy? Journal of Drocht. That sounds something. I went never one for writing about my life. The king priests of old deserve their stories told. Drocht is a simple man. So this isn't no journal. And I'm not telling any stories here. But this infernal machine done worked its way into my brain space. And I won't leave till it's figured out. The whole contraption just sets like a dead hawker. If it doesn't have the box. Putting the box in the hole made it all come to life. Five rings, but only four buttons. Most of them don't work most of the time, anyhow. When the lights line up, more open, but they don't seem to help. Just make another damn thing move. The old flea bag Khajiit, what sold me this cube, said something about the light through the knowledge through the machine rests on the cube. I remember because he made me say it back at him, so I wanted to throttle him, so I did. Tried to leave, but wolves to the top, and them eyeless freaks outside the tower. Gotta stay here till I get it right, and I will get it right. And... No, he didn't. <laughs> so that's kind of your clue how that works. It's not much of a clue, really. Hit the button until other button appears. It's not hugely... 
It's only difficult if you let yourself think it's difficult. Like, the first couple of times, if you don't know that is the trick to it. Um, yeah, the first time I did that, I was just hitting buttons. Like, what the fuck is this? What the hell am I doing? I didn't find that journal, which would be no help anyway, because that's kind of cryptic and difficult. Yeah, you can reach a point where you fuck that up. And you, you, you fuck it into being a difficult puzzle when it has no... There's no need for it to be. Any dang way. So you see what I meant about Shadowmere? He, or she, I think it's a she, is Shadowmere is... Yeah, Shadowmere is... Here. We are here. Although we do, to get to... Um... To get to Septimus again, which is who we need to speak to. Actually, we need to bring the Elder Scroll to Parthenax. Do we have like a bedroll here? So we're quite tired. Oh, we do. Cool. We can sleep here until morning. Yeah, to get to Septimus, which I think we'll do. Honestly, we'll do the Septimus thing first, because that's a cool little thing. Um... To get there, we've got to go through Alftand anyway, and to get there, that... Oh, hungry. <clears throat> hungry and freezing? Oh, no. Um, uh, just, what's the heaviest thing I've got? Um, anything that's like one or higher? Venison chop. Venison chop. That's the hot, heaviest thing we've got. Uh, uh, and one of these. Oh god, no. Uh, right. So we're out of the fucking dungeon now, so we are just feeling the effects of the cold real badly. So let's just put on our Nightingale armor and our... Oh shit. And our, oh shit, um, we are now like encumbered. So what are we carrying around that's so heavy? Shit, what can we afford to lose? Shit. Uh, fuck. You know what? I'm feeling as though we'll just power through with this because even though we're slow uh, hold on Let's just... we'll do this first we have to go this way we'll set a it's kind of a fucking mish actually is Dawnstar might be closer. Uh, we head up north to Dawnstar. We can at least... Although we do have our sanctuary there. See, this is the thing about... Uh, survival mode. you got to plan, plan your route a bit more carefully. Um, I think... You know, I think uh, Dawnstar might be the way to go. Why wouldn't it... Is that... There we go. So hard to do, like, man. That'll do, I think. I think that'll get me to at least where I can see it. Ah, uh, this is a uh, gonna be a tough one. This might call for the old the hot potato soup that we have in our inventory. We don't have a horse, and we have to use our um regular gear. So this might be the emergency that requires the soup, but 
Lids keep running. I mean, the Hall of the Vigilant in the Dawn Guard quest, that place has been destroyed. We haven't attempted that yet, so maybe it'll still be there and we can get a bed from them. Or, like, I mean bed, I mean, uh, shit. <laughs> or, like, a, um, I thought I was on the road then, then just started to only realised I was not <laughs> at the very end. Um, get, like, a fire from them. I mean, somewhere to warm myself up. Because we're not going to do much in a fight when we're this slow. Although, apparently, it's warmer now. Or warmer here than it was before. So maybe that'll help us unthaw our bones a little bit. So the head here. A bit warmer, but still very cold. So it's a bit warmer in this direction, if nothing else. None of that, this has been fucked. But there are fires here, I can at least stand near one. I say there are fires here, the place has been set on fire, so, you know. That'll be why it's warmer here, because there's a bunch of fires. Oh, excuse me. Let's just stand here for a bit. So we get our. Uh... There we go. Warm but still chilly. I don't know why it's so important that I hold on to this money, but I don't want to just throw money at nothing, you know? We worked hard for this treasure we've got, and I think we deserve to sell some of it. So we're warm now, we can... We're heading like we're heading away from the mountains, if nothing else. I'm just wondering. Aft hand is there. You know. Cause we don't need to rest. What we need is a horseback. If we can get to our horse, which is here, that's like that's a doable that's a doable walk, I think. It might just it might just be because we're a bit warmer and we've got our speed back and I can see a bit better. Doesn't feel quite as daunting as it did. I'm just gonna see how we get on. Yeah, I think stopping to rest there may have been a mistake. I thought maybe that would have uh, that would keep us warm a bit longer, but maybe not. Keep I think. Keep. At least we're not freezing anymore. You know, we've warmed up a bit. Who goes there? Be ye friend or foe? You know what? Fuck you, I'm gonna... Give me a soul. East, we should come across Alftand at some point. And then we can get to our horse. The encumbrance won't matter as much, so we can flip our cold weather gear on, survive a bit longer in the cold, make our way to Dawn Star Winterhold, and sell off some of this gear so we won't need our Guildmaster stuff to make our carry weight better. 
so we could survive long enough to sell this stuff that we for money that we don't need. If there's a metaphor here, I don't want to hear it. Shut up. <laughs> the overthinking things. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. It's doable. Just gotta kind of get over this mountain. See, I can see it on my map bar at the top of the screen. So once it's there, I can figure my way to it relatively easily. So there that is. I just hope there hasn't been a glitch or anything and they've... And the horse is gone. That would suck. Ah... Uh... You leave my horse alone, you bully. Right. It's no time for dawdling. We've got to keep moving. The horse is... So this is... Aftan Ruin Tower. Which we have not been into. I don't know. We have, haven't we? Let's just split the difference and have a look in here. Can't imagine there's anything here worth looking at, but it's a bit, maybe another bit of the... See, the air's, at least the air is warm in here, you know? We can warm up. There we go. Shields up. Oh, shit. Ah! I was like, oh, it's just a bunch of treasure, and then got fucking bodied by that fucker. That doesn't lead anywhere. Just pick this lock. We don't need these. Maybe best to take the arrows. So I don't want to get into the position where I'm taking every arrow, but I want the good ones because in those like dragon fights, they're gonna come in handy. Got, but I've also got an enchantment on the one I'm using, so we'll leave that there for now. You know, I don't think I've been here before. Oh shit. Uh, taking a gamble, eh? Rolling up in. Oh, okay. I didn't realise this was a. This was here, honestly. Uh, oh, shit. That's a. Uh, well, I say that, but I'm pretty sure I've definitely walked past this place, but I don't think I've ever been inside before. Well, I was worried about how cold I was, should I just fucking tank the, the fires there? Wait, let's go. There's a lot of stuff here. There's me saying, ah, oh, there's nothing, there's gonna be nothing here. It's not worth looking into. I think I have less award already. Gold or oh, take both of those because we can. Get another set of gold ore from that.
you are wearing an interesting hat. A oh, fishing hat, okay. This is all new to me. Let's just see where this leads. I'm not, uh, probably know where we want to go, but. Yeah, where are we? Yeah. It's not where we want to be, but, you know, something new. We are carrying around a small fortune in stuff now. I don't even think one trip to Enthir is going to cover it. I think it's uh... oh, Dude, really? Rah. I think this is going to be a... Uh... Either a trip to... Breeze home to drop this stuff off, or it's gonna be a couple of back and forths. That's the way I came in. Uh, but yeah. There we go. I just wanna get rid of the heavier stuff that I'm carrying around so I can uh, clear up the carry weight. Hey. So I think what we're trying to get to is up this way. Oh, let's put our torch back on. The air is chilly here. Just gotta get to the horse. And then just run like fuck to Winterhold. Hey, I can see her! Shadow Mayor, my good friend. <laughs> you would not believe the day I've had, friend. Uh, put that on now. It's at least a bit warmer. Uh, from here we are heading towards the ruins, I think. Yeah, head through South Hall and back. I refuse to stop for you. Do, do, do. My lovely horse running through a field. Where are you going with your fetlocks blowing in the I'm gonna shower you with sugar lumps and take you to the horse dentist. <laughs> I mean, I could just stop and fight those things, but it's a lot of work. And frankly, I'd much rather get here, sell all the heavy stuff that we're carrying around, and then... So, my plan for this stream was to at least do that, what we've just done. And I kind of want to keep going, but I also... I'm going to need another pee break pretty soon. So we'll just try and sell up what we've got to at least hit a point of... Um, shit. 
Do you know what? I'm not even putting my uh, price hat on. I'll sell just. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Excuse me. Um. So the cycle of archery. That's heavy. Um. That's also pretty much all of the. Oh man. Uh, we can get rid of that too, but that's not like, still too much to run. You got any like lock picks? That's got to be worth uh, at least a uh, anything worth twenty. Healing potions I want to keep though because I, I might get injured. Uh, I'll give you a garnet. Call that, call that, you fucking, you wily businesswoman. You, you managed to fucking I'm get a garnet for twenty gold more, what, more than what it's worth. Uh, fuck. You know what? I can at least run with this. <clears throat> Now if Enthea is about, we can at least, uh, he's got Thieves Guild money, so as big of a dick as he was, at the very least, he's got the money to buy a lot of the stuff that we are selling. So he kind of hangs out here, I think. Something good came no. up that trip to start. Tell you what, I'll get rid of the torch because they are useful. I didn't find anything but dust. Oop. Well, my stamina is not coming back at all, is it? Uh, oh man, do you know what? I think, to, I, think I am gonna have to ditch some of this stuff. I'm working on some very important research, I assure you. There you are, you prick. So Delvin send you take a look. Uh right. Oh, why are you only giving me regular shithead prices? I have to get rid of some of this stuff. Um what's the heaviest thing I've got? Uh I'm not going to use that. Um, at least kind of push my way through with this one. Uh, fuck, how are we doing for like you carry weight? In regards to Carlyle, if you see. Yeah, my. T for some reason, my stamina was not coming back. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Mm, I'm come out of nowhere. Uh, let's at least just try. Try for us to t noon tomorrow. Eleven, ten, nine. S spend some time. At least get us back to. T uh, so our stamina is kind of behaving as if we're encumbered still, and we're not. Because we've got the heavy stuff on. <gasps> That's fucking why, because he's hungry, he just didn't show me. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, any heavy stuff? Yep. Peckish stuff for that still. It's fine. There we go. And my stamina is coming back now. It's not. It's not perfect, but tell you what, there might be a dragon out there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay here in my lovely warm bedroom for a bit. I'll take another pee break. So I want to at least do the Elder Scrolls stuff. 
because I know that this is a very common glitch point and I at least want to hit that point so I can power through it off stream if it is glitching and then we start again with a boss fight or we do the boss fight today um, so we leave it there for a bit uh, I'll be back shit <clears throat> Here you found some thing in Sartor. You think it could help make me a powerful mage? Here you found some thing in Sartor. You think it could help make me a powerful mage? Here you found some thing in Sartor. You think it could help make me a powerful mage? So I've made the executive decision thinking about how our carry weight is fucked at the moment that I'm just going to try and um, we will do the Septimus stuff and it is cool and definitely worth doing Ugh, but we, we're just going to get bogged down we're trying to find anywhere that will sell buy the stuff off us And I don't personally want to miss out on money that we don't like. Because this stuff is just like a, a, a huge pile of small valuable items. It's not like it's one big heavy thing we can just dump on someone and go. <clears throat> or like we can just drop somewhere. It's going to require as much time to fucking sort through as it is to sell. So I think what we'll do is we will jump back on Shadowmere, leg it like fuck to Windhelm, where we know we have a Thieves Guild contact who will give us good prices for this stuff. Or at least I'm not fighting a dragon. No, thank you. Um, at this point, you are by you. You are on your own. Um, when uh, uh, this fucking place Winterhold. You'll be fine, don't worry about it. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna ride through, get to Windhelm, sell our stuff, because at least we know even if the Thieves Guild contacts can't buy all of it, there are other shops we can use there. Uh, Wind Winterhold is fucking shit for selling stuff, man. It's even with the Thieves Guild contact, who you think, in theory, should be. But sometimes he just doesn't have the money to buy stuff. <clears throat> so 
So there's very he provides very little that that thieves guild contact. He's got a horrible attitude. Hardly ever sells you. Hardly ever sells you anything. Um. Sorry, that guy scared the shit out of me. Then I lost my train of thought. Um. Yeah, he sw swaps from being a regular merchant to a thieves guild merchant as and when, and he takes that long to get to. He's not even worth it. Even if there's a fight coming, I'm not. and at the end of the day as well, to get to Septimus, we have to do all the. We have to get to the ice flows again. That's a mission in and of itself. We've already got a long ride ahead of us to do the Elder Scroll stuff. So, and we are also. I am very aware we've been streaming for three hours. So, I want to get through this as quickly as possible. Ideally, get through the boss fight that's coming. If we can't get the, we can't get the. It's like that will only be because of like random glitches that that happens. I'll tell you what, I'll put my cold weather gear on. At least buy us some time. Yeah, if it glitches, it glitches. At this point. Um, that doesn't bother me too much because that can just be something I do off stream, quickly save, and then we pop back in the next stream to end it. Like I know the glitch that I'm anticipating has happened to me enough times that I'm prepared for it and I know how to fix it. So it's not like that glitch that we had with the Thieves Guild thing that like nearly derailed the entire stream. It is one that I'm prepared for, know how to fix. It's just a lot of faffing about off stream. If it happens, it may not, it doesn't always. <clears throat> but I thought, kind of a. Uh... Because just to put into perspective how much we've got to do to reach that point, come on, Shadow Mayor, I've seen you do this a hundred times. Um, just to. Uh... Put into perspective how much we've got to just ride through to get to that point. We've got to go to uh, White Run, then we've got to go from White Run to Iverstead, from Iverstead up the 4,000 steps to Grey Garden, or whatever that place is called, uh, High Hrothgar, and we've got to go get to there, then go back up the through High Hrothgar, up that mountain using the clear sky shout to reach Parthenex again. So, yeah. <laughs> um, quite a ride ahead of us, so it's not a lot of the Septimus stuff we will do on stream. <coughs> <coughs> it's not this stream. Because so, we've already been streaming a while. Wow. <coughs> I think this might be because... Stamina might not be coming back because I've just swapped uh, armor to reach to get that extra carry weight, and it might just kind of it might still think I've got the same. It still treat me as if I'm encumbered, even though I'm not. If that makes sense. I love how a huge part of surviving a. Bethesda RPG is um, knowing which glitches are coming and trying to anticipate and work around strategies for them. Because look at this, what the hell is this about? So you've come to see some may call this junk. Just need to sell like ten pounds of stuff. Um, at least I can get rid of all these. These are worth about a pound each. Uh, no, these I will use that. Um, can at least. You fucking hell, it's a lot of those. And. Uh, 
I mean, it's a good problem to have, having too much fucking stuff to sell. You know what? You can get one over on me. No, you can't. He's not that much of an idiot. Tell your friends you beat me. And bring more merchandise. So if I put on my Nightingale armor... Oh, still too fucking encumbered to run. Shit, uh... God damn it. Because what we need to do is get to White Run so we can drop off these books too, because I think these are a huge part of why we're, uh... So what is some... Best thing we've got, so we can... Surely that's got a... Much to run. Shit. Uh, how are we doing for? Uh, you know, there are other shops we can use. <clears throat> so you're completely out, aren't you? There's so not much I can do. Usual build rate. You're totally tapped. Yeah. Um, you need something. What do you Take sell? Can you buy food and ingredients? Good day to you. You're just gonna be food as well. Well, at least I'm not uh, losing stamina anymore. There is a shop here somewhere that I can. Hey, watch it! You are you are not on stream, friend. You are like. <clears throat> it's fine for me to just elbow you off the off the side of the road. It's fine for me to justify being a dick to the guards. Let me know if you see anything you like. I'm pretty sure I've done a favour for this guy, so Good to see you. He should Good have you. some Yeah, he so he's got a lot of gold to spare. Okay. Um What am I carrying that's particularly heavy? We've got a pound of stuff there. <clears throat> Maybe one of these. I need that for crafting. I haven't crafted anything, but I know if I leave it in a box, it'll just sit in that box and I'll never use it. Um, deft hands. Get my sword. Okay, let's get some lock picks off you or something. <laughs> Just, uh, do you know what? Ah, oh, you've swindled me. You've beat me. You are a great Come business again. person. Come on, it's got to be... How am I still got... Fucking hell, this is hard work. Fuck. I could have sworn that would get me at least to... I think I'm just bogged down with books. I only just realised it, it midway through that dungeon, but I've got a shitload of books on me, and they're all about a pound each. So... I can jump on... I can get a carriage from here, so I can jump on and get a carriage to Whiterun. Get to my house in Whiterun. If there are no dragon attacks, and there's fucking, depending on, <laughs> entirely on the whims of the game, if there are no dragon attacks, I can get to White Run, I can put those books onto a shelf. I could just fucking drop half of them here. Um, but I'm going to White Run anyway. Yeah, carry weight, man. I think the next uh, next level up that we do, I think I'll put some points into. I'll put my point into stamina, so I get a bit more carry weight. Because it's getting to a point now where I just uh, I don't have much room to play with. At least uh, white run will be a bit warmer, so we won't. It's all about it. I know it's like it probably sounds like I'm really annoyed, but I'm kind of enjoying the challenge of this in a weird way.
I always worry about that on streams when it sounds like people... When I've, I've watched streams and stuff and it sounds like the player is getting annoyed at the game. I always worry, like, are you not, like, having fun? Like, if you're not having fun, why are you still doing it? Just, uh... You know, play something you enjoy. Don't be a... Don't be a slave to your followers. Just have fun with it. Uh, easy for me to say, because I don't have... It's not... It's not my... Um... Source of income, so I can just do whatever the fuck I want. But, um... But yeah, there was a... I... Recently watched the uh, press any Chiadini of. Um, let me just eat this and then I'll explain it. Of Outer Worlds, which is kind of why I want to play it again, but also kind of a coincidence because I wanted to play it anyway. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed it. But it reaches a point where they are playing it and. They hit a certain point in the game where the game glitches. It's not their fault. It's not Johnny's fault at all. They just... Um, they had just, like... They were just following the... The clues of the game was given them. But uh, they didn't know the game glitched at a certain point. Which, who could predict that? That's it. It's a very common glitch. It got me when I played it the first time. Whereas I just reloaded an old save and played half the game again... They stuck with their decision. They decided, no, I've made this mistake. And I've made my bed. I'm going to lie in it. And they basically pushed themselves towards the bad ending of the game. Entirely through just happenstance. Nothing they did. Not not through a decision they'd made. Because they did try and make the right decision. Just the, the game locked them out of it. And after that point, you could tell... It was really fun up to that point. But after that point, I thought, like... They're not having fun with this anymore. They, they are genuinely like not enjoying the game as much as they were. And it could be that I'm wrong, but it just felt like that. Uh, I probably am wrong because they kept playing it. They wouldn't play it if they uh, didn't enjoy it. <clears throat> yeah, I always like think about that when I like. I've seen that happen a few times. That's also why I'm fucking carry weight, twenty, fucking pounds for an Elder Scroll. Twenty pounds an Elder Scroll. You're having an off, ain't ya? Actual thoughts. Jazar's journal. Jofton's notes. Journal of Drock. Kintal's journal. Twenty pounds for the Elder Scroll. Fucking hell. I'm just thinking as well. I'm. I need that for the quest. Cause that's quest stuff. I can't get rid of that. Yeah, like, um, yeah, 20, 20 pounds for the Elder Scroll, fucking hell. This ain't the, this ain't the main game anymore, that's not, like, something I can just, like, laugh off. That's huge, that's the heaviest thing I've got, no wonder I've been struggling to find a way to survive. Uh, can't use that. Fucking hell, man. Yeah, definitely... Next level up is going to be some stamina, I think, just so I can carry stuff. <laughs> Tell you what, we can at least... At the very least, we can get rid of... That's not a burp, that's just me breathing in. <laughs> like, shit, like... Uh, dude, at least... You know what? Let's get rid of... Keep those in case we need to fill them. Um, get rid of our filled Elder Scroll, uh, filled, uh, filled Soul Gems. Um, especially the ones that are filled with petty souls because. Um, fuck, we're hitting a point now where we may have to just not bother with treasure anymore. <laughs> It might have to just be a, uh... We have enough gold anyway. I don't know why, like, I'm trying to... Like, uh, out of the deal this shit. 
which is a horrible fucking example. But yeah, like I think we're gonna have to start thinking real hard about what we've got in our inventory. We can't like um even though we haven't been we haven't been fucking um Shit, where's our stamina? We haven't been like uh frivolous with our inventory at all. Like I've been agonizing over every decision in this thing, like every single thing I come across I'm like shit, is that worth picking up? And I realize we've still got our cold weather helmet on. Um yeah, like Hang on a second. When we've got our Guildmaster's helmet on because of the feats we've picked up, it's a pound yes. lighter. <laughs> and that pound's going to come in real handy. But yeah, survival mode, man. It's kind of why I went to the Thieves... I think... It's a good thing we went... I say it's kind of why I planned for this. No, I went to the Thieves' Guilds because I'm thinking I need money to buy food. Um, and the Thieves' Guild is the best way to make money in the game. But it's a good thing we did that because we've got the ability to kind of never need money in the game anymore. Which is good because... Even though... Even players who don't... Um, anyway, where are we going? We're going to... Yeah, we've got a ride from here. We can't get the... Uh, Although I'm thinking, we previously we did, we went the long way, we rode there. Let's try and go to our house because I know that the <clears throat> the uh, carriage driver we've got at our house is he can go any city in the game. I think he can get to Iverstead, so we can chop off a chunk of the journey that way. It just means we're going a bit out of our way to do it. But at least it's a different direction to the one we went before, so you're not watching me ride the same way, like, twice on the same stream. I'm like, I know I've done that a few times, but... I'll try and avoid that if I can help it. Yeah, Shadow Mirror is out of gas. That's fine, we can canter. Yeah, like, uh, fucking survival mode. It's a, it's a puzzle. <clears throat> but it's like, it's... It's a puzzle on top of regular Skyrim, which is what makes it, I think, keeps it interesting. Because you would think it was... In regular Skyrim, you just, like, you load yourself up on treasure, fast travel out as and when you need to. And that's a lot of fun. Like, it's... I'm not knocking it at all. I've played that version of Skyrim for years, and... But this one, you're thinking about the world. You're thinking about how you're gonna get, gonna like navigate it. You can't just grab every every little thing anymore. You've got to think about um, every like every decision you make is, has like a consequence. Sometimes you can live with that consequence, and it's great. Other times, you've got to you've got to ride out of your own way to get to your house, to get to a carriage driver, to get to a place that's halfway to where you're trying to get to. And that sounds like a criticism, but it's really not. I strongly recommend people play this version of the game. In the, in the highest possible way, I'd say... I wouldn't say if you've never played Skyrim before, jump right into survival mode, because... You've got to know a little bit about the game to... I'd say that's like a bit fucking arrogant. You've got to have explored a chunk of the map so you kind of know what's coming already. Although if you want to jump right in survival mode, I'm not saying don't, because that might that could be fun as well. You'll have a different experience to, to the one that I've had, and I'd love to hear about what that's like to start with that and uh, and go on from there. <clears throat> but if you're trying to not fuck yourself into a corner, which could easily happen in survival mode, even now, even at a high level, um, yeah, I could, I could completely fuck myself with no food and no shelter and no torches, 
out in the middle of Winterhold like that and just freeze to death. That is absolutely a thing that I could I could do to myself even now. And that has that element of risk to it. It makes it um knowing that I could die at, like that I could complete not even just die at any time, I could fuck my save file at any time. And not through glitches, but through just decisions that I've made. Yeah, it makes you think about everything you're doing. And it makes this role-playing game more of a role-playing game. <laughs> Which is why I kind of want to do the Fallout 4 one as well. Which isn't a mod, I think that's like part of the vanilla game in that in that case. <laughs> but anyway, I am going to rest at my house. But I just want to double check that you go to Iverstead. If you don't, we've Where just do gone. Go? Iverstead, yeah, cool. Good day. I'm going to spend a day in my... This is my house, you prick. Go time! You want a fucking Donnybrook? And again, it's all that stuff. You know what? I'm in my house. I can at least take the crafting stuff and leave it here. And I'm definitely going to put that craft and stuff in that chest over there. Because <laughs> I don't want to be carrying that with me. But like, as I keep saying, survival mode fucking made me appreciate this game so much more. And I already really enjoyed it. That doesn't weigh anything. I know that's like a thing that I stole for the Thieves Guild. But I have not been back to the fucking... Uh, not in this stream, anyway. <laughs> yeah, like, what a fucking revelation this has been. Because the more I think about the... Um, I am your sword. Hey, friend. Um, Honored to see you again, my fame. Um. Of course. What room would you like me to furnish? Uh, I've done both of those. All so. right, then. Yeah, you stick to non-verbal music while I'm here. Ooh, what's in my kitchen? I do this every time, but the kitchen restocks. And sometimes you can just... Yeah, all this stuff's kind of came back. Like the strawberry crostata and the apple pie. That, yeah, I just... I've got those in my inventory. They come back. They, they replenish themselves. There's a bunch of, like, salt and all kinds of shit in here. Anyway, I am not cooking Nathan because... That's just more weight I've got to carry. <laughs> I've got enough food already. Um, we'll spend most of the day here. Get the carriage to Iverstead. Ride up the thousand steps. Go through High, High Hrothgar. <clears throat> Go up the mountain again. Yeah, it's, it's another thing. You've got to plan for this. This is like an expedition. Ooh. Wait. Well rested. Why am I still tired, though? That's fucking weird as fuck. That's... Why am I still tired, though? I literally just woke up. <laughs> That's a fucking question for the age, isn't it? Um... Fuck it, let's have another 12 hours. See if that knocks the tiredness effect off. That's weird.
there we go. Right. He's absolutely fucking famished. So we have food here. So let's. What do you need, my friend? Use the food we have. That was the. Still hungry. What have I got that's like heavy that I can? No, it's just. Let's just pump a lot of these in. Yeah, I don't know why that. Sometimes, yeah, like, because that happened to me at. Um, the previous time, when I started the stream, I was tired still, and I definitely rested. <clears throat> definitely rested at the inn, so sometimes you rest and you just come back still tired. Very much like real life. Uh, I was dead. There once was a hero named Ragnar, came riding to right run from all Rorix. Yeah, I'm having fun. Like. <laughs> Not that I need to keep emphasizing that, but yeah, it's a, this has been a fun stream. I've really had a lot of fun doing it. And like, I enjoy streaming in general. Um, obviously. Um, but when like when I'm not enjoying a game, as you will know if you've seen my YouTube stuff, I will fucking not play it. I'll just stop and not touch it again. Like Resident Evil 7. Not even... When I say I've not been brave enough to touch that again, without context, people are like, oh, because it's scary. It might be scary as you get on. I don't know. Take a look. I hit a point of hating the combat, so I couldn't get through it. See, I'm thinking about how much food I need now. <laughs> every fucking pound of weight's gonna it counts for something now. Literally because I've got that twenty pound Elder Scroll that's gonna sit in my inventory for the rest of the game. <laughs> gotta think about things now. Um, uh, stay away from Pogfish because that's. Less efficient, but heavier. Get ourselves a salmon steak. And these things are quite light. So let's. Uh... Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. <laughs> but it makes you feel like a actual again. adventurer, though. Like. Let me know. Um. There's anything else you need. Like an actual adventurer would have to like think like how much food will I need for this expedition? Will I, uh, you know, will I need stuff to cure diseases if they, if stuff there can do that to me? Will I need this weapon? Will I? Could I leave this spell behind? It's you know it's a. You don't look. You're thinking as if you're the Dragonborn, and that by itself uh, makes you enjoy what's happening in the game even more. Pilgrim. Why I gush about it every time, but yeah, it's it's definitely worth checking out. Wish you would stop talking to me though, that, that fucking random guy. Uh, um, talk this way in it. Do, do, do. Yeah, I'm so glad. Even though I did, I've done Skyrim before on a stream. Like, if you've not seen that stream, it is on my YouTube channel. Um, it was basically me just doing the Dawn Guard stuff as a orc character who is the exact opposite of Big Hungry Joe, which is a heavy armor, 
couple of big honking great maces and just started this whole thing was just bashing stuff and that was fun um but i only did the dawn guard stuff and a few like random side quests on the side <clears throat> um because i was just like i wanted to quickly get through that and then move on to do another game and just like stream different games going forward but i think just sitting down for how many months, however many months we've been playing Skyrim, it's been a lot. Um, yeah, just sitting down and just, it's a long, luxuriating, uh, luxury liner of a game. Like, it's just, there's a lot to think about, lots to do. And even now, we've not even scratched the surface of stuff that we can do in this game. Like, um, that's that is why the game has been so popular this many years because there's just it's a huge world and it's not just huge there's like a verisimilitude to it as well there's a like a granularity to not a great deal of it it's a bit like the example I can think of imagine like an open world game which is massive but you can't go into any building or interact with any NPC just a big flat world which is could be fun to explore and play around with but eventually would get tiresome because you just get bored of it this is both big and there's a lot of NPCs to talk to and quests to go on and random shit to find like even now like after playing it for pretty much the release of the game in 2011 that uh, Alftand uh, tower I'd never been there before not once. That was a bit, that was a first for me. <clears throat> it's kind of why I wasn't sneaking because I was like, "Oh, I'm not fighting a dragon on the fucking four thousand steps. <laughs> Just ride through." Listen, I'm so close to getting the ability to make these dragon fights go away. <laughs> I was say go away, but make them be less of a time sink. Come on. I think we outran it. Yeah, the only reason I get involved in the dragon fights when they're above villages is because they can sometimes kill off important quest NPCs that you might need later on, or merchants and stuff. If they're out in the wilderness and I've got the option to run, I'm gonna run every time. And like up here, who are they gonna get? And the the Greybeards never leave the place and Parthenax is a fucking dragon as well. He'll just fucking kill him himself. <clears throat> We got lucky with the weather there, I just realised. Because I've not switched to my cold weather gear at all. How are we doing, like, carry wise? Oh, not too bad. Like, 70 pounds. Well, we've got, like. We don't have 70 pounds to play with, we have 30 pounds to play with. Because <coughs> that's our cold weather carry weight. That's like the maximum we can carry when we're in our cold weather stuff. <laughs> Let's just... Um... I just realised my beer is empty. Should grab another one. But I also. Can I do that? Can I do that? While also climbing up to 
throw it to the wild. Hmm. Also, that reminds me, we've got to get some snow from up here as well, haven't we? Let's put that to quick save. Always quick save. Always be. Oop. Quick save, but don't fucking jump right to the menu right away, because that makes the game think about it. I don't want to balk my save with that. Um, not you. Not. There it is. Keep that on. And we will do that. We'll grab the snow before we do the Elder Scroll stuff. Because <laughs> the Elder Scroll stuff is its own thing. <clears throat> and yeah, once we do the Elder Scroll stuff, we kind of get locked into... Not a massive thing, but it's a, a boss fight that is very cool and a lot of fun. But, um, yeah, we can't get the snow while it's happening, so let's just stay here for a bit while I drink this. And grab this. Open it. Bit of water, and let's go. This part of the this part of the game, unless you're playing survival mode, you will only see this once. You'll only come this way one time. The rest of the time, you'll fast travel. Even if you say you won't, that's all. You will do it every time. Everyone does it. I've got no. I'm not judging you for doing it at all. Because I do it too. You have it. I know. The Kel. The Elder Scroll. I know, shut up. Tidkrech, Kalos. Time shudders at its touch. Yep, yeah, I'm awesome. Let's. There is no there we go. question. You are doom driven. Kogan Akatosh. The very bones of the earth. You have it. I'm nice. gonna repeat, repeat the Kel, that. The Elder Scroll. You know what? I'm gonna do a. A regular save. I am not going anywhere. There is n this is not a glitch. I am making a save here, like a hard save, because of the glitch that's coming up. Something to return back to. There we go. I know, like the it there looks like a glitch no when I save, question. but it is something you I'm in control of. <clears throat> Kogan Akatosh. The very bones of the earth are at your disposal. Yep. Go then. Fulfill your destiny. Take the scroll to the time wound. Do not <coughs> delay. Yeah. I wasn't come. delaying until you, you said it. The signs. Sorry, Parthenax. I, 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 I love you, but <laughs> you are pushing me into this thing I'm already doing. Uh, Elder Scroll. Let's read it. Let's go. <coughs> Not even trying to cover that one. Up. Elder Scrolls. The reason why this glitch sucks is um, there's a cutscene here. Today, Alduin's lordship will be restored. The glitch that I'm worried about. But I honor your courage. Is it locks you into this in after the cutscene's over and you can't do anything else? You may see it, just to be aware of what I'm expecting.
Hell yeah. Hey, Con! A glorious day, is it not? Have you no thought beyond the flooding of your blade? <laughs> what else is there? The battle below goes ill. If Alduin does not rise to our challenge, I fear all may be lost. You worry too much, brother. Victory will be ours. Why does Alduin hang back? We've staked everything on this plan of yours, old man. He will come. He cannot ignore our defiance. And why should he fear us? This and voice now, actor is uh, Roy Campbell as well, well in uh, Metal Gear Solid, isn't he? have fallen to my blade alone. None have yet stood against Aldo and himself. Both. Sorry. Birk. He's a good voice actor. Don't know they his name. They did not have Dragonrend. Once we bring him down, I promise. Dragonrend? The thing I, I wanted. You do not understand. Alduin cannot be slain like a lesser dragon. He is beyond our strength. Which is why I brought the Elder Scroll. Hey, I've got one too. Well, dear, we agreed why are you looking you at me? I'm traveling through time. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. Right. <laughs> need we will deal with Alduin ourselves. Don't look, now. Stop looking at me. You? Every <laughs> time I look at it, she looks back. <laughs> so be it. Ah. Let those that watch from Sovngarde envy us this day. You get him. Who was a fool? Is the words we needed. Now we've got Dragon Rend. you how to use the shout. You use it once to get him on the ground and then just blast him with it. And it locks him in ground on the ground so you they gotta fight you. than your own. Break your perch on this age and send you out. You are banished. Count you out from all our endings unto the last. You are banished. Work. You did it. Yes. The world I'm holding my breath now because I know the glitch the kicks in around by here. Yeah. Oh my god, it didn't glitch! There's no glitch! Yay! Oh, we did it! Oh, we can do the boss fight! Yes! Yes! I'm so happy. <laughs> Die now and await your fate in Southern Guard. We fight Alduin. Funt, you are too late. Yeah, you lost Funt. Oh no. Quick save there, because that I'm I'm gonna pause it there, because that's every single time I played the main quest in Skyrim, I've reached that point and I hit the glitch, and right after he banishes Alduin, it kind of freezes there. And nobody moves. You can still move the camera, but like nothing happens. Um, and it's it's not a game-breaking glitch at all. Like you basically just reload it, watch the cutscene again, and 
after a couple of times it will it'll it'll like progress through it and you can get to this point. I was expecting it to just not work then and I was my plan was to do the sign off um while kind of locked into the um into the Elder Scroll thing and and yeah, it didn't happen. First time that's ever happened. It's always been a bit of a slog to get through this to actually play the second half of the quest. So I've not played the second half of this um, main quest line in a couple of years. So it's been a long time since I've done it. And yeah, fuck, I can do it on stream. And I don't think there's any game breaking glitches coming. There's a couple of cool things that are about to happen. Um, they'll be happening next stream. But for now, let's fucking equip Dragon Rend. Get that in our favorites bar. Boom. And fight Alduin. Let's do it. Use Dragon Rend if you know it. Oh shit, that thing. Um, let's get rid of that because that's going to confuse me. Doesn't help that we're. Get fucked! You've been dragon rendered, mate. Dragon rendered. He'll still hover for a little while, <coughs> but he will land. And now we fucking go. I say that, but also fucking hell. He does a lot of damage, and he's still a tough boss fight, even on top of fucking. Um, Let's just use up these guys, and do we have any spells that might help us, or any, like, paralysis doesn't work on dragons, right, we'll push our way through, we'll be fine. Yeah, it gives me a second to reprieve there. I'm also fighting him in a cold environment, so I am also... I don't have as much health as I would like to have. <laughs> Shit, I can't see him. At least we've kind of got Parthenaxis helping us here as well. So I did get him with that. There we go. Ah, lots of things are happening. Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh, the air feels warmer, because I've just been set on fire. <laughs> um, right. We're making use of our healing potions, if nothing else, you know? Um, how are we doing for stamina? Can we just... Do we have any stamina potions? I think I'd get rid of those, because they're not super important. No, I don't have any. Okay. Oops, shit. Um. I'm peckish, too. But I am Al Duin, firstborn of Akatosh, Malagi Zoklat. I cannot be slain here by you. Or anyone else. You cannot prevail against me. I will outlast you, mortal. Yeah, you better run. <laughs> yeah, you get out of here. Go on, keep going. And that is how I saved Skyrim. <laughs> we didn't, though, because... Hey, Parthenax, come back. I was going to talk to you. There you are. Hey, 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 hey. What are you, what are you doing, bro? Not Kongrach. You truly have the voice. 
<laughs> oh my god. Wins allies will think twice there. Um other one escaped. Ni ra ra in moro True This is not the final Krongra Victory So he's gone to the sky now, he doesn't come back down. <laughs> and I can't skip the dialogue, so it's just kind of I've gotta do my best Charles Marner impression. Um Aluin was always Balok, arrogant in his power. I sound more like Palpatine. Unzaka Pa. He took domination as his birthright. Good, good. We should shake the loyalty of those who. Yeah, I need to find out where Alduin went. Yes, one of his allies could tell us, but it will not be so easy to convince him, one of them, to betray him. I wish you were here telling us this, buddy, but you've gone to the sky and you're not coming back down. Uh, perhaps the palace in Whiterun, Dragon's Reach, originally built to house a captive Dover. A fine place to trap one of Alduin's allies, hmm? Missing all of his great performance to do this. The Earl of Whiterun might not think so. We are so is strong. I do not doubt that you can convince him of the need. I'm treacherously cold, Parthenex. Um, was built a whole dragon some ages ago. You understand there were more of us then before the Bruniki, the Ekaviri came and killed all my Zima. Oh my God, that's that's, that's just, just I I can from context clues it is clear what you mean. Hmm. To visit him from time to time, nearly crazed by loneliness and captivity. He did not even remember his own name. This is the dragon that was captured. Uh, I don't know how he came to be caught, but the Jarl was very proud of his pet. Park, I guess, means fuck or cunt or like some kind of swear word. The Hoff, I'm not reading that, has been known as Dragon's Reach ever since. I guess Hoff Hake Shun means castle or something? Perilously cold, Parthenax. Perilously, perilously. <clears throat> we get somewhere warm and then sign off the stream, I think. Excuse me again. Um. Oof, four fucking hours. I always worry when the streams have gone more than an hour. <clears throat> but then if you're anything like me, you don't watch these things, like, consecutively over, like, one long session. Like, you chip out, like, half an hour of it. Then watch another half hour, then another half hour and stuff. At least that's how I watch streams, anyway. I'm just thinking, what kind of monster would be, like, watching... Would be watching this entire thing? And then I worry that I've used up a lot of good material on this stream. But then I realise... Nobody's watching this stream. I can use the things that I've said and the things that I can remember in writing later on and nobody will know. I can tell the stories I've told in this stream again and 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 again. And you know, you you no one will know. I say I say you won't know. If you've watched the entire stream or you are like watching it on catch up and stuff and you've watched up to this point you'll be able to call me out on my bullshit and you'll be like hang on a minute you've told us that story in a stream before this is not new information this is not new this is not a, this is not a new witticism you've just come up with on the fly you've perfected this over the stream you sly dog I would hope at least that you wouldn't tell people if that is the case like um if you realise, hang on a minute, this is just a joke he's been clearly um, workshopping on the stream. That, um, 
but like if you notice that, give me the dignity of like one of the few dignities afforded to a guy who is not, whose stream is not being watched by anyone. Let me just pretend I let me just pretend I made it up on the fly. You know, I just I I was very witty in that particular situation, and it wasn't something I'd already said today or on another stream. Because a huge part of the reason why I enjoy streaming so much is because it is just a case for me to riff on and just talk until thoughts happen and ideas occur and I use those thoughts and ideas in writing or when I do like um, open mic nights and stuff. I'm so freezing at the moment. Somewhere warm. I think like High Hrothgar has a fire I can just like stand next to for a bit until I get my until the feeling comes back in my fingers and toes. And auto save is happening, so that's good. At least I can quick save. At least I feel warmer here. Um Ah, oh, let's just uh <clears throat> Normally I take my helmet off to do the sign off, but um let's eat as well. <laughs> I went to books instead of food. If that doesn't tell you a bit about how my brain works, I don't know what else will. Um let's have some start some beef. <clears throat> anyway, uh, yeah, I normally take my helmet off, but it's too fucking cold, so I'm just going to do it here. Thank you for watching. If you have watched, if you are um, watching on YouTube, please like like the video and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of thing and would like to see more of it. I would tell you to ring the bell icon. I know a lot of people do that, but if you do click that bell icon, you will pretty much just get phone notifications every single time I upload anything, and it's a pain in the fucking ass. <clears throat> Only click that bell icon if you really, really like my stuff and you want to know about it immediately. But there's no immediacy to my stuff. Like, you don't have to watch it as a premiere or... And, like, you don't have to be the first person to see it. It's not like you're going to miss anything out. It's going to sit here on YouTube. Well, I say it's going to sit on YouTube, but it's currently on Twitch. It's going to sit on YouTube for as long as I have a YouTube channel. So don't worry about, like, you don't have to... It's no like you have to watch all of them to understand the deep lore of the <clears throat> the Skyrim playthrough. You really don't. I re I re explain all the stuff every single time. Um if this is your like first time watching a stream or a video of mine. You know, hope you enjoyed it. Consider watching other ones. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of uh, hours of time you can spend watching me stream stuff if you choose to on your own time. And I encourage you to do that if that's the kind of thing you enjoy. <clears throat> if you enjoy short stories uh, or writing in general, check out mattholandauthor.com. That's a web address. Put that into your web browser of choice, and it'll bring you to my website where you can see all of my... I say all of my writing, it's all the stuff I'm willing to give away for free. Uh because it is available for free. Like, there's five years' worth of material. You can just, uh... You can read as much of it as you want. Um... There's no limit to it. Just keep reading forever. I think you can at this point. You can, like, you can... It's a... It is a... As a guy who's edited all of this stuff myself, it's a lot of work to get through. So, yeah. Um... There's a lot of stuff to get through there. Uh, there's a new story just appeared. Because there's new stuff happening every single month. Um, as I said at the start of the stream, the reason why I missed that one month is because I was being paid for a lot of my writing. I simply didn't have the time to write stuff for free. Um, if you want to make writing stuff for the website your priority, I do have a Patreon you can find in the links below this video or on my channel, wherever you're watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, because no one's watching this on Twitch, um, 
So it's going to be in the in the description below. Uh, so website, um, Patreon, burp. Uh, there is also a Twitter Twitter account, which I have kind of going to be leaving fallow because if you are watching this in the future, a, a certain dickhead who bought Twitter has changed the name to X, and he's been making it suck for a long time. It's not been fun. It's been awful. But I still exist on the... Uh, at uh, twitter.com slash Galitha Matt that's G-A-L-L-A-E-T-H-A underscore Matt with two T's um, but I am more active now on Blue Sky I have a Blue Sky account which is I will need to check my uh, address here just so I can see it but I am okay at on Blue Sky it is at symbol Galitha Matt and that's all one word this time it's G A L L A E T H A M A T -T 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 no underscore just all Galitha Matt then dot B S K Y dot social if you're anything like me that was nonsense that was gibberish I'm gonna put that in the description of the video so you can find it if you are also on blue sky if you've been lucky enough to be given an invite code as I was um, yeah it's a, it's where I'm gonna do a lot of my social media because it's way better than Twitter like it's it's old it's like old Twitter back when it Twitter was good you know before all the bullshit back the, back when the days when you saw that Stephen Fry was on there a lot and he was adding all your friends and you thought maybe, you know, I could be friends with Stephen Fry like all my friends are. Never did, but, you know, you had that hope, you know. And also, fuck Stephen Fry, he was an anti-carbon guy in 2019. So, yeah. <laughs> this is the energy we're bringing to Blue Sky. Just a fuck celebrities, fuck the centrists. Every centrist that gets there all the current users know about them so they know to shun them and when they get there and they complain about not getting engagement like they used to it's brilliant it's a fucking yeah I'm going to be posting most of my stuff there from now on um, but I will keep the Twitter or the X account active just for the unless he starts scraping it for unless he announces that he's like he is going ahead with that uh, AI scraping thing, in which case I'll delete the whole fucking thing, so we won't be able to touch any of it. <clears throat> uh, yeah, it's a whole, that's a whole other conversation, and I was ending a happy stream, and I'm just thinking about fucking Elon Musk now. No one should have to think about Elon Musk. Uh, yeah, I hope I didn't just ruin the stream by pointing out Elon Musk is alive and ruining things in our lifetime. Uh... Yeah, follow me on Blue Sky, check my website out, support me on Patreon if you enjoy. I mean, if you enjoy the streams and you've not read the short stories, I would encourage you not to support the Patreon. No, I'm not going to say don't support the Patreon, because obviously give me money if, you can, if you've got it, if you can afford it. But if you can't afford it, don't feel like, oh, I enjoyed these their streams, I better give him some money so he keeps on doing it. The Patreon's not for that. It's for the website. It's not for, like, the streams. The streams are just to bring audiences to the website. And also for my own enjoyment. So with my stuff, never fucking feel obligated that you've got to give me money. At all. Ever. Um, I say ever. Sometimes, if I'm desperate for money, maybe. But I'm not at the moment. I'm okay. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's turned into a bit of a whole thing. Yeah, I really enjoyed this stream. It was a lot of fun. I uh, hope you also enjoyed it. It's now been f- way over five hours of this stuff, so if you are currently watching it on YouTube as a catch-up, thank you for, you know, keeping that going. Um, if you are watching it to help you go to sleep, you know, have good dreams. If you are... Uh, I've run out of people who could potentially be watching this stream. If you're a fucking weird insomniac, I I feel you, buddy. I'm I'm very much the same. I'm about to do some weird insomniac shit, shit as soon as I leave this stream. So I'm right there with you. Uh, have fun. Enjoy your lives. Uh, stay safe and look after each other. And I will see you uh, next week, probably. 
Um, well, another time. I don't know. I don't know stuff. Uh, take care, everyone. <laughs>